Wow, I'm really surprised by that. <laughs> so Very, much excitement in these. It's, it's, it's really shocking every time that it happens. Um, let's see. Yeah, I should. I was literally going to message Bex earlier, like, I didn't write myself good notes. Should I be worried that I'm going to have to recap today? <laughs> It's uh, all good, man. Just do your I, best. I we love you and support you. I didn't take the greatest of notes either. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we made it through the forest that appears to be dying of poison or something else, but mostly seems to be poison. Uh, we found Lowell's village. It's not poisoned. It's in a bubble. Like a fey bubble. Lowell's dad's still alive in this timeline, which is new. Yeah, there was poison. Um, it's nice being immune, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so Lowell's dad's still alive. That was new. Uh, he survived some kind of fight there. And uh, Lowell has some kind of uniting the shifters power that is so far unspecified. Because uh, nobody knows what it is but all of the shifter clans know that somebody like i don't know if they know that lowell specifically has it but that somebody has it uh that's why the cat shifters are after him too uh i guess nim's knife problem is bad because other people taking the knife was also bad uh this is noah noah had it for a little bit that was bad uh, <laughs> At least, at least the grapple roll thing was like so, the low rolls was great. Um, yeah, we're trying to figure out where to go next too, as far as like where to where to bring the like where to figure out where the poison's coming from. So that's really mainly, I think, what we did. It's my recap. If anyone wants to cover anything else, I think that covers the majority of it. Yeah. yeah, covered basically everything except for going over details of questions we asked, which I don't see why that would need to be in recap. Yeah, I I, I skipped those two. I'm currently looking for a fumble, fumble gif for to explain what happened. We're <laughs> going for the night. <laughs> I'm not happy with my spell prep list. And since it's the morning, I can still fix it! Let's get rid of this. And go for... Where's Flame Blade at? Okay. I'll, that's, I'll, I can live with this. Hopefully, maybe. Kind of. Only one way to find out. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, so I had uh, that we were planning on to... Uh, Leave the bottle, but up the I can talk. Uh, leave the bubble <laughs> to the south to see if it's as bad or worse or better. And then, if it's better, circle around until we see something. Maybe go, maybe go through. I, I guess if we can't see anything if we're inside, but also we can't get poisoned if we're inside. So it's kind of a <laughs> no pain, we'll no gain. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if a rope would pass through. It would have to be a fey rope. Just have Nim holding it and then it'll be fey all of a sudden. Oh god. Nim on one side, K <laughs> on the other side. It's like the Midas touch, but it's fey. <laughs> well, I was thinking... I turn everything I touch to fey materials. I was just thinking that Lowell could be outside since he can... Is a mutant sure. poison. Hey, you can still proc the D ten thousand table. You're not that not fey. I feel like I feel like <laughs> you're rubbing this in our face. <laughs> the fact that we take 
so much poison damage. Oh man, I was and... so close to death last time. <laughs> you should take the tough feet. I Just should. for situations like this. Well, uh... yeah, Cora's like fair game for level 12. She's got all the stuff I need her to have, so I can get I can go for the fun stuff at level 12. <laughs> Oh, or just well, bump con. <laughs> that's, yeah, or just bump con. That's so far. I know. We we just got ten. That's gonna be a minute, but that's the next opportunity for a feat. Literally, no matter what happens. So. Yep. Nothing I could change until then, regardless. Well, I guess. We're going right into it, or are we gonna just do we want to talk about it more and before going into character? Let's go. You okay, sir? I I'm I'm I think it's funny. You asked the question, or do we want to go right into it? Knowing full well that's what how this party works. <laughs> we made a plan. It's not like we're fucking. Yeah, making a plan and sticking to the plan are two separate things. Is there and it's a something that party that exists in the universe that <laughs> makes plans and then does them? Does that exist? Does that exist? I mean, it is a fantasy. One shot movie. parties. One shot parties. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you know why they call it one shot? They only get one shot. <laughs> one opportunity to seize yeah. the moment. <laughs> So about mom's spaghetti, guys, I don't know. Are you just walking outside of this bubble now? Is that the time thing? <clears throat> Walk me through this. I I don't think we I, we were still talking about it in the. That's what I thought. So are, are yeah. we walking into the role play? Is that yeah, that's what I, I mean, meant. Uh, I thought we had a plan. Whatever you guys want is fine with me. If we need to talk no about plan. it more. Let's talk about it more. There's no plan apparently. I, I have a plan written in my notes that V just said out loud. <laughs> But apparently that doesn't count. Please. Well. <clears throat> so then, question is, where are we? And probably still around the table that we were eating yes. breakfast at. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um. Should we give this plan a shot? Guess we could. Um, <laughs> go. Let's go. Let's go. What are we doing? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What? What is the plan exactly when we find the source We're... of whatever this is? Kill it. Mm. We've got to stop. What it. do you mean? What's the plan? Kill it. The plan is so, kill it. The the plan is to find where the aside from where we came from, the the next I guess heaviest thickest part of the poison, because that should indicate to us that uh, it's getting worse in that direction which should head us toward the source. And then so we follow that until we encounter whatever is starting it, and then we stop it. Yes. OK. With lightning you... and fire and punches. Got it. If, if you guys Well, do you want me to pack you a to-go bag? Is that what, what we do, like some mushrooms and berries? I need to get you a little a little backpack for your field trip here. Oh, Dora the Explorer backpack. I mean, I think I can go find something real quick. <laughs> what kind of Lunchables do you have? Oh, we only have one kind. The, the pizza one, right? No, it's the mushrooms. The mushroom pizza. No, just the mushrooms. Oh, OK. <laughs> should be able to come up with food on my own <laughs> unless you want to make something now's, now's the time don't wait <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm not sure if now is exactly the time for that. <laughs> Nim, you were awake all night. You didn't cast Find Familiar last night? No. Uh, there's Dennis Team being awake and being free. <laughs> yeah, there's difference. There's difference in those uh, definitions. Okay. He he was awake, but he was distracted. <laughs> I mean, as long as you're not murdering Lowell, I feel like we're at like a, a medium level of good there. So that's something for sure. Or is like, I mean, I can make sure his hands are free next time if you want. I just, if he wants the bird, maybe we should let him get it so we can get moving. That's all I'm saying. It's going to take an hour. Oh, I... Well, do you want to uh... do that while we while we scan the perimeter? Yeah. Do you want to? Why don't you check if there's any breaks in the inside of the bubble? All right. Sure. I'll I'll be over here. Yeah. Guess meet back here in an hour. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, no, we'll head out. Split the party. Split the party. Let's yes. go. Begrudgingly heading out. Oh, well, why don't you stay? No one I can handle it. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. We're going to stay inside the bubble. It's fine. You had oh. only one night to hang out with your pops. Okay, well. If you have any way to let me know if you're in trouble, let me know. Um... Uh, we're not going to be leaving the bubble, so um, if there is a, a will run. Mm -hmm. I'll turn to an eagle and fly us back here. It's fine. We got this. It's fine. Uh -huh. You're sure? Yeah. Oh, I can't pick you up anymore. Hmm, that's a problem. Do I think that my, like, riding horse strength is enough to carry him? Didn't you do that before? Since he became a warforged, have I done it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's like 600 pounds that a uh, horse can carry, I think. Sure. Your horse can take care of it. Cool. Oh, See, we're going to be fine. Let's go. Lowell, before I head out... Um, mm -hmm. I've, I've been working on uh, this enchantment since the last fight. Might be, um, I feel like we're missing something from our um, from our combat strategy. Couldn't really get to that demon. So I figured if, if anybody of us could use it, you could. So these boots should make it easier for you to fly oh and then he'll give him the wing to boots I might yeah he probably would have come pretty handy in that fight my arms were really sore after that yeah I've, I've, I figure doing doing pull-ups just for to get to an enemy doesn't sound fun. So uh, take these tram on. Uh, let me know how they fit in like an an hour. I want to make when they get back. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. I, I see reactions and I'm not looking at Discord. <laughs> I'm I'm not. <laughs> Are you sure? I can I can stay here. 
Stank character. The caliber of puns tonight, though. It's, it's, <laughs> Oh god, Dick. <laughs> I guess Flo will start putting on his boots. Alright. Lol has winged boots. Whoa. Hey. Two of you are heading out to scope the rest of the forest, yes? Yes. Uh Courtney well, rest of the bubble. takes Nim aside. Uh we should probably not do this here. And also give Lowell more time with his father. Yeah. Does oh he yeah. Also, you? in case yeah. Nim kills Lowell. Yeah. Well, since no. he takes you back to there. <laughs> I you forgot about. Uh, Nim, I have a lot to keep track of, man. It's a good point. I. That's that's why I was trying to just basically making. Are you sure? <laughs> Nim, I need you to make me a Constitution save. Yeah, you got it. We'll just say uh, that we believed in your today. in your pops. I need to make me a mm. now constitution's fine. Yeah, constitution's yeah. fine. You got it. Okay. Noted. Uh Lowell, what do you do? Uh after putting the boots on he'd hang out with his dad and I guess Help with making some a uh, to-go pack food. <laughs> okay. Korshana and Noah, walk me through this process. How are you doing this? We're kind of in the we're in the center of the bubble, right? As far as we know. Yep. Do we know which way we came from when we first entered the bubble? The uh, north end, right? Make me survival or int check. Int check? Yep. I won't do survival. Boy! God, my dice. 18. 14 intelligence. You think you remember which way you came in? Start right. there, make a loop. Okay, and... What are you looking for? Problems? I mean, you don't see anything because you're staying inside the bubble. Yeah. But the bubble is intact. That's, I think, what we're checking for, right? Yeah. Uh, Unless Noah has a bright idea about things we can do. Noah, make me a fate roll. Oh, God. Look what you've done. <laughs> Oh god. Oh boy. That's a minus uh, one. You get three quarters of the way around the circle and at the last section you see poison start seeping in from the forest. From basically nowhere. Well. Well, that's not good. I feel like this is probably where we should start when looking for this source though. Uh, do I take poison damage from sticking my hand out of the bubble? Uh, you stick your hand out and nothing happens. Like, you just, okay. you just see it. Okay, okay. Like, outside of the bubble. It's, you don't, you can't really see outside of, it's, oh, to you, right. nothing happens. Like, you stick your hand out right, right, right. and you just still see it. You don't. Like, mm. even if you push through the poison, you just see your hand. Right, right, right. Okay. Mm. How does it, like, is it visibly moving in? Is it, like, moving really fast? Or is it just, like, some of it has come in this area? Some of it has come in. Okay. Well... Can I check you know to make sure that, can I check, um, see if there have been, been any signs of anything that, like, living that's not, not just a poison that's been getting through? Sure, there's a dead animal. It's a dead animal. Oh. Um, 
Hmm. Did you want me to autopsy that? <laughs> yeah, primal savagery. Go, go for it. I got a survival and medicine. Maybe I could do something. I don't fucking know. I'm not gonna put it yep, in my mouth. It's dead. poison. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's definitely dead now. Super dead. Uh, Died of poison. Uh, what a shock. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I'm sure. It, I can only see it having died of the poison, but um, I don't see how it would have made its way in. Yeah, well. That's what I'm more concerned about. Yeah. I mean, it seems like the bubble is failing right here, which is all the more reason for us to stop the assault on it. Hopefully that allows it to sort of reform its protection of Lowell's father, at least. Right. And um, assuming this is where we're going to head out from, what's our plan in terms of keeping safe from the poison? Um, I have protection from poison in prep. So I have it. Use that I have well. it too. Yeah. Um, it only lasts an hour, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. I, I don't really, um, since I have these, um, these gloves that I can use for fighting now, I. I still have my cantrips, so I'm not super reliant on um, some of my stronger spells. So I can dedicate all of mine to protection from poison if you want to save some of yours. Maybe you can cover yourself in them and I will cover myself. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that way you don't have to cast it at a higher level. Yeah. Um... I mean, don't get me wrong, my low level spells can definitely save our asses in a in a really rough spot, but they don't tend to get a lot of use. So I think it's okay for me to at least cover myself. I, I if it takes us eight hours, we're not gonna be able to be resistant to poison the whole time. Right. But if it takes us two or three, or at least we're not taking massive damage for the first two or three. Yeah, and and I don't take as much damage from poison, so I'm planning on using a, using the the base form of the spell on just Nim, and I should be able to to cover. I should be able to take it without. And then after the those are done, and I cast it at a higher level, then I can start covering me in Nim. Sounds like a plan. Um, do we want to finish the the patrol and see if there's any other spots? Let's. All right. Uh, we'll finish. We'll go full circle. OK. There is another spot. There is another spot. OK. Mm -hmm. How many? Is there? No, go ahead. How many did we just come across two spots in total by the time mm -hmm. we finish, or? You think three. Three? Ooh. Mm -hmm. But are they kind of like in the general, the, the same vicinity in the circle or? Nope. Okay. Hmm. Are they like kind of all, so they're all all the way around or they're mostly on one sort of side of the compass? So rows? we'll say you found one on nine o'clock, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Okay, Roughly. perfect, perfect. Um, that makes sense. So that okay. Out of curiosity, that which which uh, clock direction did we enter the bubble from? Uh, we start at twelve, and then yeah. So when we first is there started, any we entered from twelve? Yeah. Twelve or one. Okay. Roughly. Did we see a major any difference between these three spots? Like, is any one of them majorly worse than another? No, not majorly. The same. They're okay. they're they all have varying degrees of poison damage, but there's no major. It's not like one's a massive pool and the other one's a trickle. Yeah, we'll go for the ten o'clock. Just cut the middle. Yeah. Okay.
Ready to head back? Yeah. yeah. Okay, where do you go first? Back to the uh, village. Uh, do you go back to Lol's house? Uh, we'll check in. Uh, check in with Nim first. I don't know. If, would you have known that Nim had left Lol's house? No. Can we actually no, no, no. hear we him and Kay in a different spot? I mean, our How loud perceptions are, they? are. They're not that loud. Well, I mean, you know, like, can we tell that there's because there's nobody else in this village but us? Can there we tell there's life of, in the in the There's still some sounds of nature in here. <laughs> sound, sounds of nature? <laughs> okay, Anna. <laughs> they are not. I mean, to you, it's... Um, I would say no. You wouldn't know that they're in a different location. Then yeah, Lowell's house. Okay, so you'll find Lowell and his father chit-chatting. Chitty chitty chat chat. Where's uh and Nim and and Kay? They think they went to another house, uh, so he could get his familiar back. All right. Um. Did Did you find anything? Yeah. A little bit uh, closer to where we came in. Well, we. We, we scoped the, the 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 circumference of the this area, and we found three spots where there seemed to be poison seeping in from the outside. Um, that seems like a good place for us to head out from. Uh, are you two gonna be okay? Uh, we have some spells to protect ourselves against poison for a good bit, so. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How's it going over here, dude? Uh, just been trying to take advantage of as much time as I can. Right. Um, we'll go check on Nim in the meantime. Okay. And then we'll, we'll be back. All right. Uh, so we head over to where Nim and Kay are. Doors closed. I knock. Just a minute. You hear the sound of chanting in there. Spell. He is. You hear the sound of chanting in there. Well, okay, good. Uh, Nim, you are being thoroughly distracted by Corey, so while you're trying to cast the spell. Oh, which is why I had you make the con save to try and concentrate on casting the spell. Oh my God. So it, actually, <laughs> it actually took two hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> Probably why he's not done casting the spell yet. Before Issa opens the door. Yes. How's it going with the... Uh... He's almost done. That's good. Uh, we found uh, some areas where there seems to be poison leaking through. We'll, we'll probably fine. use that as a start. Okay. Do you know how much longer it's going to take? Probably about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. Bye. Just meet we'll be back, back at the uh, old place. <laughs> oh, it's close. They're just going to be. Oh, I think we should leave Lowell alone, too. Why do I get the feeling that uh, they would have been done by now? <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean, when I said time is precious, this isn't exactly what I meant, but. <laughs> All right. What do you want to do while we're uh, waiting for 
name in low. I was ready to go two hours ago. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I just feel like we should leave Low alone with his dad as much as we can. So. Right. Em, what do you what, what do you want to do? While we're got ten minutes, babes. Good. Killing time. We can go for a walk. Yeah. Okay. Where do you want to go? Uh, pastry store. <laughs> you asked. We're in the forest. So. <laughs> you don't think no the pastry forest store have a pastry store? Nope. Well, I. That sounds like an opportunity. <laughs> Are you going to start a business? She's such an forest pastry now. store. That's <laughs> interesting. Oh. I sell pastries to all the deer and squirrels and birds you can find. Yeah. We'll make a lot of nuts. Perfect. Probably. Do you think you might want to start a business somewhere where you could get gold to snack on? Ooh. <laughs> Because, I mean, I can subsist off a diet of nuts and mushrooms and berries. I've done it before. But. What if you teach the animals how to use money? It's an interesting idea. You'd have to give them money first. Would you be interested in doing that? Oh, no. <laughs> how would they get it? Would they steal it? No, they would find it. Find it where? Find it on adventures that, you know, perished in the forest. It's a good it's, place to get money. It's, <laughs> it's quite unfortunate. She, she ain't wrong. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, um, so, Lowell, is there anything in particular you wanted to do? Or talk uh, about? Uh, I didn't think I would have more time to talk, so that's... <laughs> I wasn't quite... Uh, I think he would... After hearing that poison was seeping through, he'd, prob he'd start asking questions about the barrier. and If it ever has seemed to weaken or anything at all over time. Ever since it's been placed here, I've never seen it weaken. It um, has to be a lot of something or something really powerful for it to start coming in like that. Mm. Maybe. Can't say I'm too well versed in the ways of barrier making. Hope we can stop that so it doesn't do anything else to this barrier. Yeah. But that's part of the reason why I don't want to have you stay here. Because if the barrier eventually falls, you shouldn't be here. That if it doesn't, it, if it does fall, I, if it is gonna fall, you probably shouldn't be here either, because then that means they're coming after one of us or both of us. Sure, but where am I gonna go, Lowell? I, I don't know. Somewhere. Anywhere I go is gonna paint a target on that place. I can't do that. I can't, in good conscience, bring down the wrath of someone so powerful on a place that doesn't deserve it. Just... Finally got to meet you. Don't want to lose you too.
I would rather. I don't know if there's any good compilation for you though. But I would rather know that you're still fighting out there than force you to either have to fight with me or watch me go. I'll just my first step will just have to be stopping this poison and then just keeping powerful things from attacking the barrier as much as possible. I can't in good conscience ask you to do that, Lowell. Because if all you're going to be focused on and distracted by is this barrier, then you won't be able to achieve the goal, which is to stop what is happening in the first place. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was coming. So understand that I love you and I'm prepared to die for you. The whole reason why I decided to raise you. Yeah. Go on and hug him and cry a bit. Yep, he hugs you back. So, Korshana and Noah are on a walk. We'll say, Nim, you're done. What do you do? Uh, let's see. Well, we would have met back up with the party, but I don't think that's possible right now, so... Okay. Wait around with Coriusa somewhere not close enough to Lowell's house for it to be a problem. Gonna hold off on doing stuff till people are back. So are you just gonna stay in your your house? <laughs> We're coming back after twelve minutes to find out where yeah. the fuck Nim's at. Sure. Okay. Um <laughs> I mean, the two of you, the three of you, rather, with M, go back to Nim's house. Doors open. You ready? Yep, we're ready. All right. Can you give a piece of pocket bacon to Omen? <laughs> Omen oh, happily nibbles it up. I can't believe you still have that. <laughs> Wait, oh. I'm, I'm sure I'm about to run out. I'm pretty sure that poison's been seeping in everyone's pockets. Unfortunately, I think Omen's immune to poison. He's is immune he? to poison. Yes. Uh, this is now Omen shit. only bacon. Okay. Lowell's <laughs> immune to poison. You, you can also have some pocket, pocket bacon, bacon, Lowell, if that's what you like. <laughs> Would you like some poison pocket bacon? <laughs> yeah, imagine. Damage and condition immunity is poison. You, d you did not immediately kill the bird after he spent an hour summoning it. That would have been hilarious, though. <laughs> an hour and 45 minutes, more like. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, why are we here? <laughs> Let's go! So, the five of you go back to Lowell's house? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Ready? Uh, yeah, he'd wipe the last bit of tears from his eyes and say, yeah, I think so. Let's go. Okay. We 
we go. Okay. Um, I want to check with him to see if she can cast protection from poison. Mm, I don't think so. You need to watch me first. Sure. When we get to the edge, okay? Okay. Papa's going to cast it on Uncle Nim. I'm going to cast it on myself, and then you're going to cast it on yourself, okay? Okay. Is like, Good plan, Papa. I'm hurt. <laughs> oh, you want to spend your spell slots on us, Kay? No, I'm just hurt that I wasn't part of the plan. Oh, is, is poison a danger to you? No, I just was hurt that I wasn't part of that plan. Well, they didn't include me yeah, either, so... There is that. We didn't include the ones we had utmost faith in. Ah. Exactly. Lowell, we know we don't have to worry about, so. Seeing That's as he fair. probably didn't even notice there was poison. That's fair. Lowell, by the way, there's a, a lot of poison outside the, <laughs> the bubble. Hey, you're kind of sending a mixed message when you don't warn him about the poison. <laughs> I mean, oh. he was with us. He knows. Like, he, he can see it. Just, he <laughs> just wasn't see, getting hurt it by now. it. <laughs> <laughs> he learned about it when we did. Maybe before he was leading the way. If the if the the coughing and dying was not <laughs> enough of a sign. <laughs> So, should we so you guys are out? trying to chain cast the poison spell. <laughs> uh, Noah's gonna cast on you. I'm gonna cast yeah. on myself. That's the yeah. plan. Noah's not gonna have poison protection. <laughs> Only poison resistance. Fear back. I appreciate it, considering Nim like not one passed out from the poison at one point. He kind of he needs yeah. it. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I have. I was curious about this just to see what happens. Is there there is poison coming into the bubble where we are right now? Yep. Um. Nimkin to cast detect magic uh, at will with his uh, invocation. Could he cast detect magic on and like look at the poison to see if there's anything of note? There might not be, but I was just curious if there was just anything that he would notice from it. No, it's not magical. Okay. Curious. All right. So if time to the... go through. Well, what are we exactly are we going to try and look for to determine which direction we're going? Because I mean, we can... know there's poison there, but what I are we looking for? It'll after? take me ten minutes, but I can cast my spell to look for fiends. If we want to check um before we head in a direction i was just thinking we go wherever it's getting worse okay well we can try i guess well we'll lead the way out okay. casting spells first right well yes. i need to cast it outside the oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Protection from poison. I'm doing that. Okay. So Noah casts it on them. Yeah, second level first. Uh, ah. Is how's how's M doing on casting it? Uh, M casts it on herself. Oh, Good. Yeah, I cast it. Coruscant casts it on herself, and Coriusa casts it on Noah. Oh. Well, that's Surprise. that's very nice. Thank you. I mean, I could have cast it on them too, and you could have cast it on yourself, but that's okay. Yeah. Didn't know you. Yeah. Just, just saying. It, but... Yeah. It it is a touch spell, so next time. <laughs> <laughs> And, and how was she planning on touching Nim to cast it? 
I don't know. As long as it happens not in my <laughs> eyeline, I don't really care. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that wasn't in character. <laughs> we well, wouldn't ask that kind of question. Of course, I was answering it anyway. <laughs> It's, it's, like the, asked. it's like the, the invisible question that Koreshana can see Lola yeah. wondering about. Yeah, it's just hanging in the air right there. <laughs> we, I don't need mind link to mind link with you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, walking out of the bubble. Okay. Yep. Lol disappears as soon as he walks out of the bubble. Hopefully we're right behind him, I think. We'll follow as well. I mean, we'll, sure. we'll follow. We'll I was going to say, I mean, you don't have to be. You could just leave him on his own. That's cool. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, the, this area that you walk into is 100% dead. Yeah. Like, trees are completely dead. It is clouded. It is not impossible to see, but it's definitely difficult. Mm. Does it look like it? it's even thicker or anything like that in any direction or is it just bad all around it's just bad all around um, does it look worse it looks worse than from where we came in no it's about the same okay super dead okay. yep mm. um I just keep moving forward. Yeah, uh, unless you want me to see if there's anything in three miles of here. Maybe we should save that for when we're further out. Okay. Just because you, you can cast it here now. So how be... long do you travel for? Ooh. We'd have to recast stuff mm -hmm. in an hour. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So up to Korshana. Do we want to like? Does anything change if we go like half an hour, or is it just a sea of this same shit? So if you go half an hour, which means you're gonna go about a mile and a half away. Um, you run into dretches, but you guys can handle them very easily. But there's no major monsters. Uh, the poison doesn't really seem to let up. Okay. In the theoretical situation that the bubble is actually where the fiends are trying to get to, shouldn't I check to see if there's any within three miles of here while we're no more than a mile and a half away? Sure. Makes sense uh, to how me. How many times can you cast it? True. If you she give me ten minutes, I can day. cast it as many times as we want. If I only take a minute to cast it, then I have two, and I can't heal you guys. So I think we should take ten minutes to cast it. Okay. Sure. All right. I'm gonna look for terrain stuff, uh, powerful fiends, and influences from other planes of existence. Remind me what the. What name is called? Uh, commune with nature. I can put it in a VTT for you. Doesn't stay. There is a plane opening southeast of your location, about three miles. I think I got it. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Huh? Which direction? 
southeast. Do I get any like because I know it didn't work on the way here because the forest was kind of shifting itself for us. Uh -huh. But do I get like an idea of a safer path to take? There is none. Okay. I'll still lead the way, but go head straight forward, I guess. I say when we're two and a half miles, we start slowing down and getting sneaky. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all of you will know that if she's like, we go, we're we going to go straight there, you're all like, that's going to take us back to this town. Yeah, wouldn't that be opposite the direction we left the bubble? Because 10 yep. o'clock would be the opposite that's northwest and southeast yeah. is, yeah, four or five on the clock. Let's, if we can go through, that saves us some poison travel, right? A little bit. Were you able to tell what kind of portal this was? Yeah, I. That do I know what plane of existence? No. Okay. I don't know because this is one of those things that are just. But it's it's far like we only went a, a mile and a half from the bubble. The bubble is less. Uh, uh, do I think it's the bubble? Like. It's pop oh, do you think it's the bubble itself? No. You know yeah. it's not the bubble. So it, I, it could be a Feywild portal, I guess. If you had to make two like strong contender guesses, it would be like a demon one or a Fey one, but it could be something yeah, else. I'm, either way, I mean, unless Kay can tell us right now whether or not it's Feywild portal. There are no Feywild, Feywild portals here in this forest anymore then it's a pretty safe guess it's something fiendish uh, finding a way to close it would maybe at least slow this down if, as long as it's hopefully there's not too many of them fuck I want the boss to be there let's fucking kill this thing <laughs> yeah uh I think we might have already done that. I don't know. Wasn't there something the about a horse on fire? Well, let's head to this portal and find out what's there. So we're going to go through the bubble to save ourselves some poison. Does that make sense? All right. Y'all? Yeah. OK. So we'll we'll take a hit for about ten minutes before we get to the bubble, and then we can recast before we exit again. Sounds good. Okay, you head back into the bubble. Continuing to go the direction of where she sensed the portal. Sure. Uh, recasting protection from poison before we leave the bubble. Mark your spell slots. You got All it, right. boss. Mark the non-existent spell slot. Uh, I'll I'll cast mine on myself if Coriisa wants to cast. Coriisa takes him. her time casting it on him. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Ritual know. cast for sure. <laughs> and by taking some time instead of one action, it's like half a minute. I'm shielding my child from the exposure to this. <laughs> <laughs> Does the spell work better if you cast like that? Oh, yes, absolutely. Parshan is vehemently shaking her head. <laughs> How would you lie to Lowell like that? Lowell because doesn't... it's fun to play with him. Lowell doesn't know magic, he wouldn't understand. The boy who never lies. Doesn't mean you have to lie to him about it. No, no, Lowell. It, it doesn't help. Okay. You all head out of the bubble. It's slightly better. But it's still pretty bad. Like, it's the, the forest is dead, but it's not choking in poison clouds. Huh. So 
we're still heading in the direction of the portal, I sense. Uh, you'd have to cast that spell again. I can't remember the fucking direction with my plus I mean, nine survival. You, if you want to think it's southeast, sure. Or the, you can go right ahead. That's fine. Okay, well, I guess we're taking ten more minutes for me <laughs> to make sure we're going the right way. As as long, make sure we didn't pass it. Yeah. I do that. Okay. You cast a spell. The portal is northwest of you, one and a half miles. This fucking forest. Does it? Does it no, seem like we it's? Went, oh yeah, we went southeast. Now it's northwest. Does it seem like it's oh. up any? Northwest is where we just were. Yeah. Ask that question again, V. Uh, does it seem like it's up or down or any? Could it maybe be underground? Yeah, it's inside. Or... It's inside the forest. Understand. Or maybe it's we over go the three um... miles southeast. That's where I sensed it before. Now it's northwest of us. You went. You know, you went a mile and a half outside of the city when you went the first time. Yeah, and you said it was three floor. miles southeast of us. Yes. How far out did we go this time before you cast it? Um, I assume we're right outside the bubble. You're right outside the bubble. And how far away is it? Mile and a half. How wide's the bubble? It is a mile and a half. I think. The, the long and the short of it is you think it's in the center of the town. But we didn't see anything like that uh, and yes. when we were in there. You didn't. It's because the town is overlaid on top of the portal. Yep. No, he's got it. All right. So the only people who can see it are the ones who aren't allowed in the bubble. Ooh. I think that whoever's trying to get to your father, Lowell knows he's there. And since they can't get to him, they're going to try to break through somehow. It's my guess, at least. Is there a way for us to not go into the bubble? I don't know how, I don't know how these things work. Corisa, is there a way that we can pass through Yes, but I don't think you're going to like the answer. Uh, it's going to keep us from going in ever again, right? Yes. No. You're right, I don't like that answer. Um, You're basically going to be revoking your rights, privileges, what have you to entering a sacred place. The Fae don't usually take kindly to that. They won't just let you choose to do it and not do it on a whim. Especially if this came from the queen herself, which judging by how it feels, I think it did. Hmm. Lowell? I know that this one's hard on you, but what do you think? I don't know. Do you want to at least let your dad know that uh, if we go through with this, that you won't be able to come back in and that if he wants to contact you, he can't do it through the bubble? Well, I guess he already can't contact you through the bubble if, he, if you're not in there. Okay. 
the poison's gonna get to him eventually, though. I'd like to say goodbye one more time. You want to see your thoughts again? Carissa will speak up. I do want to point out, though, even if we stop what's happening to the forest, look at the damage that's been done. Korshana, how long do you think this would take to repair? Decades, centuries. I don't think I think we're too late. It's so just we do a matter nothing? of time. I'm merely offering what I'm seeing. Well, here's the thing. Um, is this also the source of the the fiends that have been attacking Charis? Because wouldn't a stop to that would also save that town? And if this is going to continue spreading even further. That is up to you guys. If there is a chance of it healing and it's just being a matter of time, I, I don't see why not. Nature always finds a way if you leave it alone. Yeah. Uh, Kate, do you know? Know what? If this is really the source of what we're looking for. To stop what is happening to the forest, most likely. Damage on this level needs to have a vast amount of... I think those creatures that you're dealing with, there's dretches. They're a major part of it. If you get enough of them collected, you can just poison whatever you want. So to have that many of them, you have to take from the source. You're not we're not talking about a handful. Right. So to answer that underlying question of will this stop what's happening to the forest? Most likely. But I don't think you can stop what's happening to the barrier. The barrier relies on the forest, and the forest is dead. Maybe you can convince him to go to Urukazel, Lowell. Okay. He said that if he left the barrier, it would paint a target and anywhere he went, and he wasn't going to do that on anybody else. You have somebody from your clan in Urukazel. There might be something useful that she might be able to learn from your father. But if if they can find him wherever he goes, then she'd be at risk too. I will say that uh, that whole tribe has been um, preparing to defend themselves from whatever is coming after your clan. They are prepared to protect. And once this barrier goes down, low, your father has nowhere to hide. Kato might be able to, you know, help a little bit with the cat problem. Certainly seem to be able to take care of robots. <laughs> They're more protected than he thinks. That's, I guess, our only point. 
Yeah, I think that um, it's worth giving it a shot, you know, put him in a position to at least have a more of a fighting chance against whatever's coming after him, you know, or at least bring it up to him. Yeah. Should let him know that this barrier is not going to hide him forever. Um, got the feeling he already knew that. He just didn't want me to be around to fall with him. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Well, if there's one thing I know, it's that you can never convince your parents that you know better about literally anything, but... to you if you think it's worth a try we can try I don't know if it'll work but better than not trying anything if any way to save him that's worth trying yeah we can um we can wait right here on the inside of the bubble until you come back, and then we'll... Um, can come too. Maybe... Can help me talk him into it. If you want us to come. Right. I'd like it if you can. All right, then. Okay. On the walk be... back. No, go ahead. I doubt we'll be uh, more convincing than his own son, though. Uh, on the walk back to town, Korashana is just going to mind link with Nim quick and just say, you doing okay? Is it gross in his head, like for me, because of the demon? Or do I not sense any of that? I don't sense any of that. It's only the demon. <laughs> that's, that's not the reason it feels gross. <laughs> Oh jeez! Oh no. jeez! No, that's for that's actually what I first thought. <laughs> it's, oh. it's like, oh no. Uh, uh. Yeah, that's not the reason. Pulling up, all right. I just think Lowell needs to try to do whatever he can to get his father out of here. If it's possible. That's all. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I just thought you might be having a hard time, so this is your open invitation to talk about it while we're walking. Uh, there's just a lot of... I, maybe we sh shouldn't have been talking about the island stuff so much around me then, because uh, someone else could hear it, but... Aside from that, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, shut us up harder. <laughs> if you really don't want us to say stuff, you need to tell us. By the time I realize it's a problem, it's kind of too late, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's no one doing things. Thanks for checking, though. I'm always here for you, Nim. Well, I, I appreciate it. 
Sorry if I've been distracted. You have a lot of reason. A lot of fair reason. Are, uh, are you okay? I, I'm sorry about what happened with the, with the dagger and... It's not your fault. It kind of is. You're at fault for getting possessed? Picked it up. You couldn't have known. And there's... I'm, I'm gonna wait until after... After we talk to Lil's dad, but... There's something I want to ask everybody. Okay. It can wait. I don't think it's as important as this right now. Yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you make it back into the town. See if dad is still in the house or not. Yeah, he's still there. Hey, kiddo. You all came back. Uh, the... Found out the portal was in the middle of where this bubble is. And it's killing the forest. Hmm. Odd. Can't really. I've never seen it or heard of it. Uh, it... it seems that since we can come in here we can't get to it there. so in order to get to it and stop the fiends from doing any more damage we wouldn't be able to come back I see well I honestly count myself lucky that I was able to see you in the first place all the damage around I this barrier might not last much longer it's got to be someplace safe you could go well I had to sacrifice a lot just to make this place safe in the first place I don't think there is any other place that's safe to go. There's that island I told you about. I it's possible that that Ugatoa being might stop anybody else from coming there. What does he ask for this protection? Mm. 
probably fealty, but alive is better than not alive, isn't it? Dealing with the Fae has made me very wary about what I do and do not agree to. There are some things that happen that are worse than death. Yeah, I get that. Yep. Um, there's somebody on that island that claims to be um, one of your clan. I'm sure that... I remember Lowell saying something about that. I wonder if um, there's something that you might be able to, some knowledge you might be able to impart onto her. They've been able to keep her hidden from the other shifters and whatever magic they use was able to break fey magic. Mm. I, well, we would know more than I would about that. And <laughs> I don't think it broke all of it, but it broke a lot of it. Mm. Well, I'm willing to try, but Lowell, you remember what I said. You can look me in the eye and tell me that I will not bring harm to these people. I don't know, because I don't know how strong this, this they are to where, because if they're even stronger than, than Ukatoa being, then I'm just not sure. They seem to be able to keep anybody that they didn't want on the island off, but I just don't know how strong they are. Well, I can only rely on you, you all, really, because you're the only ones that met these people. I can't. I don't know anything about this Alberto and how powerful he is. But I can't imagine, unless he's some sort of massive Leviathan godlike creature, that he's stronger than what we saw on that island. But you're right, it's going to come with a compromise. My other concern is if I do agree to this and I go there and the cost is too much, it's already too late. I've already left. This bubble is going to fall anyway. You're going to have to leave. But you might get six months before it falls apart you might get a week but it's coming down yes but here there is no collateral damage it is only me you think that you dying has no collateral damage i think that my dying is something i can control but i cannot control other people dying around me I'm not happy about this at all, but I've made peace with it. 
I knew from the day that I raised Lowell, I was going to die eventually. I knew that he was going to be hunted. I've made peace with that. And I'm sorry, it is a terrible thing to say to your son, but I would rather be me and only me than me and thousands of others, hundreds of others, how many of these are, there are. There is a part of me that is in those wraps that I gave him. There will always be a part of me with him. That I can guarantee. Shall we take a walk? I say to everyone who's not Lowell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You'll probably have to get Nim's attention. He's kind of like hyper focused on this. I don't think he. I, he's I'm not gonna... picking up your. He's not picking up on what you're like hinting right now because he, he's. I'm like, gonna really physically on turn this. you around and gently guide you out the door. Yeah. Nim. And Nim's like, no, no, I'm interested in this right now. I like yeah. this. This is very, very interesting. It's cool. Uh -huh. Well, no, he like he really wants to figure out a way to not for him to not end up dying. <laughs> um. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if Nim's got something smarter to say, of course not, doesn't think uh, that Jormund is wrong, so... <laughs> no, I mean, if you want to take him out of there, take him out of there. He just would not pick up on the, the we should go thing at this point, so you'd have to just get him out of there. Huh, Nim doesn't like his dad anyways. It's just us that... Yeah, that's everybody else yeah. that doesn't. I'm pretty sure the worst part of the whole thing is that Nim absolutely loves his dad. That's what makes it so gross to the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. All right, Lol, is there anything in particular? Do you want to role play this out or do you just want to have another heartfelt moment with your father? Yeah, it would just be another heartfelt moment and saying one final goodbye yeah while everybody's walking Cor Issa speaks up again I'm again gonna put this out there and I don't think any of you are gonna like this idea but there are things called soul gems oh boy uh huh go on <laughs> Oh, I mean, tell us, tell us. You can. Oh, boy. Well, you can kill someone and you can trap their soul in a gem. It's it is basically nigh indistinguishable from anything else. You cannot find that person. They are, for the lack of a better term, completely gone. But it, you can then choose at another point in time to resurrect them by breaking said gem. In fact, I think uh, Noah would be very familiar with this process. Their His body last said, oh boy. It is by no stretch of the imagination a good option or a healthy option, but it is an option. I am in this body right now as a result of uh, this old jam. But you didn't choose to be in it. No. Arrived if not for that, so. Yeah, I mean, it seems worth it to me, but I'm not sure I understand what the cost is. Or where you would even get something like that. Cost is immaterial in terms of physical cost. That is practically irrelevant. 
It is the mental cost on Lowell of killing his own father and trapping his soul in the gym. Sorry, what she would say mental and emotional. What if he isn't the one who does it? Oh, honey. I don't think that's going to be. That's going to be worse. Um, Nim, I'm just going to remind you how you react when I talk about the possibility of maybe someday having to kill your mom. Who you don't even know. It's actually really similar. Or Issa does this. <laughs> just as a you know thought exercise while we're waiting i think if anybody's going to do it it'd have to be lowell because that way lowell has to steal himself you know the the conviction has to come from him when he does it otherwise letting somebody else do it he doesn't have to be 100% committed. And you don't want that resentment on you, even if Lowell doesn't end up, if, even if Lowell doesn't mean it, if it's not by his hand, resentment can start brewing. If you'd like to suggest it, Nim, you know, far be it for me to stop you. I think. I don't, I don't know. I, isn't there going to be, isn't there going to be a resentment anyway? That he's always going to wonder if he didn't do it. If, if he had, taken the option, I mean, either way, or at least that's what I would wonder. And I think that emotion is regret, not resentment. Resentment is focused on other people. Regret is on yourself. I think you have enough people pissed off of you already. So do I, for this same reason. So I know full well what it costs when you when you put someone into a soul gym who you know kind of uh without everyone's consent so um not to throw more wrenches in this idea but uh do you think the raven queen would be in any way cool with this plan who cares what she thinks? Fuck that girl. Now look, look, I kind of <laughs> like her, but regardless, Nim does work for her. Sure, she works and for her. We spent a lot of time openly defying the Winter Queen while Nim worked for the Winter Queen, and it went real south. I have memories of that going south, yes. Just don't have the soul gem on Nim whenever Nim talks to her, that's all because she's not uh, even semi-omniscient. You don't think the goddess of death can tell? I'm just, I'm just putting stuff out there, man. I think this is a terrible idea, but I don't <laughs> think that means we shouldn't propose it. I'm not going to propose it. I think that it's awful. In our defense, if she had an issue, she picked the wrong person since I've come back to life quite a few times before she picked me for any of this. Yep. Sure. It, it shouldn't really come as a surprise to her. I 
I don't know about even bringing this up to Lowell. I don't want to. I think even if he doesn't want to go with it, just putting something like that up. He's so innocent. And to put this kind of weight on his mind, whether he goes with it or not, I don't, uh, I don't like that. Alternatively, if he finds out there was an option and we didn't present it to him. That is true. Nim seems to think it's a good idea. I think Nim should tell him. But Nim also is supposedly trying to kill Lowell. Or sorry, not kill, eat. So. Kill and then eat? Or does he have to be alive? Never mind. I don't want to know the answer to this question. <laughs> just, yeah, just, just stop asking. Sounds like I'm about to get it clarified. Oh, good. <laughs> you're welcome. What can I say except you're welcome? It's, and Nim's having that, like, that thing on Discord. It's like, the brazier is typing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I got it clarified. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, Thanks. the brazier slipped into your DMs. <laughs> Nim's eyes are just like glossed over for a second. Yep. I don't know. Feels like only losing options. So I don't know. Yeah. It's just a question of which one is going to hurt less. I mean, I personally think that um, that the soldier is not a bad idea. And the problem is going to be finding a vessel to bring his dad back. I think Kay's offering to take care of that. Your resurrection, baby. Really okay. not that hard. As long as you have the soul, it's all that matters. Out of character, you don't need that, do you? True resurrection could get anybody back you as long as they've been dead less than I think a thousand years. You can't true res somebody who's been soul trapped because right. But I guess my point soul. is, if he just straight dies, if we're talking about true res, we could just true res him from regular death. If, I sure. think if the demons take his soul or something, because he there's demons mm. after him and stuff, there's danger that, that something could happen to his soul. And I if think he the idea soul, he can't be resurrected by anything. This is purely out of character. Yeah, I just that's like, what I'm saying. <laughs> I like there there are dangers in what's going on in this particular universe that could make yeah. a resurrection impossible. Yeah. Here, um No, I just had a thought. Um Tell me you have access to the clone spell and we can just take some of his hair and be done. <laughs> Better or worse? <laughs> if we go through with the soul gem idea, the moment on a, on a not sentimental level, the moment that Lowell's father dies, the Summer Queen gets all of his information. So that also we have to be careful about. I don't think you have to be too worried about that right now. She's Why a little not? preoccupied. Oh, is she? That's interesting. I mean, all of you should be pretty well aware as to why. I can guess why.
I don't know. I just want to kill some fucking demons and close a portal. I'm. <laughs> no, this feels like it's my call to make. I don't know. I don't know why I'm debating it with you guys. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't want Lil to lose his father if he doesn't have to. I agree. Maybe we should just bring it up to him. After okay. or before, right? Who wants to break it to him? So many volunteer. I mean, I can. That's easy. Who wants to break it to him? Gently. Yeah, I don't think I'm the one wanting to talk to him about that. I'll explain it then. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it gently, but... Best bet. So anyway, shall we? I think we're waiting for Lowell to come to us. We're not, I'm not going to go interrupt him, say goodbye to his fucking dad. Hey, before you guys say goodbye. Just real quick. It's like, this um, more, hey, this Lowell. Is, this is you more of a out of game out of like, is this conversation done so we can do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, Lowell, you find the rest of the group unless you decide to wander off on your own. Nah, I right, will be right back after that. It's Think like, um, it. we're going to be like, oh, hey, Lowell, you just finished saying your final goodbye to your dad. Oh, by the way, you might not have to say goodbye to him. I have no plan oh, for God. this. I have no plan for what I'm doing for this either since this came up suddenly. So You might want to save a slot for... um using to spell magic to try and close that portal, Aiden, because I don't have to spell magic prepped. I only have and I don't know how magic. else you're supposed to close an interdimensional portal. I'm pretty sure dispel magic is the only way to do it. We're going to need some fucking luck to get dispel magic on a gate spell. Yeah, I mean, it's that or what? I mean, I assume we kill spell. everything, but then, yeah. That's a ninth level spell. I have no magic that can help close a portal, so good luck. Yeah, I don't think any of us do, so. It, maybe it closes equals... by itself when we kill the demon that's keeping it open, but. I, gotta, I have a demon <laughs> knife. I don't know if the demon knife can do anything. The DC's maybe... 19. Maybe if Nim DC... throws a knife into the portal. <laughs> I yeah, mean, that's a great letting idea. Letting go of the knife is bad when you guys are around. That's what we learned. No, we throw it in, we close it, so that no one can go after it. Yep. You better be well. You better be really confident you can close it. And also, Corius has said he needs to have it, so he's actually not supposed to be throwing it through there. Well, he needs to have it because out of the us, you're the only one who can't kill Lowell. I'm pretty sure getting rid of it is okay. I mean, I know that Tig wants to get a fiend patron, so, but I'm pretty sure in game, <laughs> if you were able to get rid of it, that would be okay. <laughs> Separate your player feelings from your character feelings. <laughs> well, in character, throwing throwing the thing, like dropping on the ground, caused everybody to make a wisdom save, which was bad, so throwing it seemed like a bad idea. <laughs> Now throwing it, 
throwing it somewhere within everyone's reach was a bad idea. <laughs> Through a portal into the abyss is a great idea. Because nobody will follow it. It'll demon, totally be... demon definitely won't regenerate if you put it back in the demon plane, right? After, you know, well, like after a certain amount of time. Yeah, it takes years. We're fine. Actually, what we just... will, the rock shots will take at least two sessions to come back. Okay? <laughs> we might as well just go into the nine hells and slaughter everybody. Hey, if we kill everybody, hey, in the nine hells. Plan. Nine hells is over here. Abyss That's is over here. And yeah, we're going to the abyss. If any okay, devil well, heard you say that, they would be very, very upset. <laughs> okay, we go to the abyss and we kill everyone. Okay. Because we don't, we got it. Because we don't already have enough things that's way over our head to deal with. Let's let's just make an enemy out of an entire plane. In for a penny, in for a penny. <laughs> to be fair, the entire plane is everybody's an enemy to them. They have no friends. Yeah, they hate each other. We'll just befriend everyone and kill everyone <laughs> through the power of friendship. Yeah. And magic. I'll just hire. I, I'm sure that there's something you can emotionally manipulate a demon with to get them to kill another demon. Yeah, it's like here you want this guy. All they have position, to do is kill it while it's in the abyss, and we're done. We're we're done. We're good. I'm sure there's somebody we can pay for that. It's fine. It's like hey, you want this guy's position? Help me kill him. That's devils. <laughs> Don't demons not <laughs> have ranks? Demons. Should... I mean, demons and devils do both have ranks. Kind of. I think it's the um, difference between lawful and chaotic for this one. They're both evil, but it's the lawful and chaotic difference for them, right? De yeah, but like, uh, I, I, devils have, like, a hierarchy. I don't know if demons do. They're, they're both the kind of the same. They're both different types. And each type is more powerful than the last one. And how they rank mm. up is they kill more things. Gotcha. It's just that devils have a so more yes, lawful what society. Said. And demons just don't give a fuck. Yeah. Well, this kind of makes mm. me curious what my character would already know about demons or fiends already. A lot right now. Okay. <laughs> right, uh, now. The glib, right now. The glib race has just been giving you a, a yeah. load up on so to prep it's, for our pact. It's kind of one of those things where while you're uh, resting at night, you've been getting whispered in your ear and then it was so low that you weren't really recognizing it and then whenever you're like I wonder what fiends are like. You you like recalling things that you've never heard of before. You're like, this is a little weird and scary, but all right. <laughs> nice. ASMR. Demonic ASMR. Yeah, pretty much. Great. <laughs> That's not scary. <laughs> totally <Maybe>. normal. <laughs> Nim why? <laughs> Uh, so are we talking to Lowell? Did the Lowell come out here? Don't, what, are, what are we doing right now? I'm assuming at this point Lowell would catch up with the guys. Lowell is here. <laughs> magic are, are we ready to do this almost before we go there's um there's another option for your father if you're both willing to, which you might not be, and that's understandable, but um, I don't think... Clarissa, can you explain to him what a soul gem is? Sure. Soul gem is an item that collects souls. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> so, Lowell looks confused right now. 
<laughs> it's like what is what's the point of this? When a soul's in it, nothing can detect it. Okay. The, the important part about soul gems is that at a later point you can then implant a soul in that gem to another body. They could be resurrected. Nim. Carry on. But he's still alive. Yeah, that's that's the part we would need both of you to be okay with. You can't be alive to be in a soul gem. The point is keeping him alive. If this bubble comes down, he's expecting some kind of fight and to die here. Or if we try to take him somewhere else, she eventually get found there. Because it sounds like they can find him wherever he is. So you're saying if he has... If we give him one of these soul gems, if he does die, his soul would go into this gem so we could bring him back afterwards? No. I'm saying that we would have to put it in now. And. But he's still alive. Yes. Had, if if he can't be alive in order to put the his soul in the soul gem then how can we do that now when he's alive he would have to die or be killed But he wouldn't be able to be tracked, and we would be able to resurrect him when it's safe to do so. But wouldn't we be able to resurrect him either way? Not necessarily. Can I ask for uh, real quick? I I know the stuff that demons do, the soul stuff. Does Nim know that? Like the. Yes. Okay, cool. Well, that's... Um, if his soul is lost or trapped or taken or something happens to it, it's not possible. And there's a demon portal like right here that we're gonna be trying to close what if we can't we're, we're gonna close it we have to We'll close it. Okay. But this is the only other option, so we wanted you to know that it was there, you and him. Trying to make it so he 
doesn't die. Now you're saying we have to kill him. I just can't do that. If I could think of anything else, I would have suggested it. Sorry. At this point, Lowell would just walk away on his own for a bit. Not too far away, but just... Would you say he walks 16 passive perception feet away? <laughs> 16? That's what I got marked down for Lowell. Uh, his, he's up to 17 now. Oh, 17 passive perception mm -hmm. feet away. Yeah, do you still have me at uh, 23? Because it's 24, my friends. Oh, I marked well, down 24 for you. Well, you don't, have to, okay. you don't have to walk your full passive perception distance away. So if you want to <laughs> only walk 16, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice a goddamn thing. So oh, yeah, Nim, I haven't. Nim can't move from he's his a, passive perception. He's at 15, he doesn't notice anything. <laughs> It's not bad, actually. Yeah, 15's fine. It's not a bad stat at all. Yeah. It's not stuck in between DCs like a 19 is. <laughs> Just slightly not good enough for like... Yeah. It's the difference okay. between being a highly perceptive human and being an elf. <laughs> Him and I have been discussing what her favorite plants are in the forest. Uh, pastry plants. <laughs> oh my god. How many ranks does Im have in survival? Zero. How many ranks does she have in nature? Zero. Zero. <laughs> did she dump wisdom also? Of course she did. Amazing. Oh no, and she's being raised by a She's a red dragon, of course she did. I love it. I love it. Actually, her favorite flower would probably be marigolds. Yeah. There's, there's no talking well into killing his dad. No, it would have been sad if he would have gone, been on board with it. <laughs> well, Nim, uh, I think that's as good as that conversation could have gone. What do y'all do? Uh, ready to kill some shit. Yeah. I'm ready to beat this 19 DC on a dispel magic. Uh, after about like five, ten minutes, Lowell would. 
come back to the party. Where do you go? Outside the bubble? Can we... I'm going to ask Cora Issa if we can go where it is, like, near where it is, and, like, decide to not be in it, or do we have to go out and then walk back? You have to go out and then walk back in. You have to... As... I mean, honestly, you really shouldn't be surprised, but you have to basically out loud state that you do not want to be inside the bubble anymore. Let's go to the side where it's less poisonous so we don't for sure take any more poison damage before we go. <laughs> well, it's to the yes. south, right? Yeah. Okay. We do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. You head to the south. Lull walks out. It's not great. It's still kind of... It's dead here and it's still a bit of poison hanging around. But not nearly as bad as to the north. No. Bless you. Bless you. So everybody needs to make me con save. Who's not immune to poison. Yo. Hold on one second. It has is it worth it? on these. Is the it spells, worth the it? Spell's not on us anymore, right? That's right. been more than an hour, I think. Yeah. I've been right. wasting so many spell slots. Oh, that's yep, so nope. bad. <laughs> Con save? Con save. 16. Can I flash a genius? Can I flash a genius news? <laughs> so uh, from my soul. That puts it at a 15? Yeah. All right. Those who made it take two points of poison damage. Two points? Okay. And then Corisa casts, uh, no, M casts um, the fucking poison protect spell that I can't think of off the top of my head. Protection of protection from poison? Yes. M casts it on everybody. Oh, shit. Yeah. Damn, really? Thanks, babes. Yeah. Papa, safe. <laughs> Like, no is kind of, like, blown away because you have to cast that at a pretty fucking high level to get everybody. No, she just keeps casting it. Okay. I was like... I do spell slots. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I was always surprised when she casts things. Kay, Kay does look at you, no, specifically, and just has that look of, like, hmm. Hmm. Right. Stay away from her. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then what do you do? Um, Noel will say, uh, are we ready to, to do this? So um, are you going to have to oh. stay behind because of how the bubble works? Hmm? Did, did, my asking K. did my microphone not work? I can't tell. I you. heard you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, heard you. I, I, I only heard sure. part of that. What was the question? Oh, the question was whether or not Corisa would have to stay behind because of how the bubble works. If she can't choose to not, like, if she always has to be able to go through inside the bubble because she's Fey and she can't go to the, the demon portal side, basically, because she's Fey and she can always go into the bubble. Oh, honey, you're so smart. Good luck. Thanks. We'll, we'll see you when we're done with this. I guess I should... We should do this before... I change my mind. And then he'll think we we're supposed to say it like out loud that we don't want to go into the Yep. Yeah. Okay, he'll say I he'd probably be crying as the whole time he's saying this, but he'll say I don't want to go into the barrier anymore. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything that happens. 
No, we'll say that after a little. I no longer wish to go into the barrier. M says it as well. Good me. Oh, Nim also. Okay. Then what? Well, we'll start yeah. walking back to where. How long does it take us to get from the edge of the bubble to where the town was? Like, how long is that walk? Half an hour. Oof. Okay. Uh, Twenty minutes in, if we still, if we're not in the middle of a fight, Corshawn is going to pass without trace. Okay. Um. I mean, so what's going to happen is as you start walking in, you're going to fight more and more dretches. And it's a few, and then it's a few more, and then it's a few more, and then it's a few more. And for the most part, you guys can just easily handle them. It's not until you get, I would say, probably about 10 minutes out that, like, the last one was, like, two dozen. Ooh. A lot of punching. Does it seem like they're so thick that we couldn't sneak the rest of the way? Uh, because of the death and the poison and the bad shit? You know what I mean? You probably could sneak through because the poison, while they're immune to it, they can't see through it, so it's definitely obscuring their vision. Head to the source, try to avoid any more fighting. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. okay. Pass without trace it is. Okay, let me stop checks. My lord, these dice. It's a miracle I didn't die from the fucking... Uh, Still? 33. Plus 10! Plus 10! 14 on stealth. With the plus 10. With the yeah, plus 10, eight, uh, so. Wool did 33. That's nice. Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh, no! <laughs> Yeah, so much for that stealth plan, I guess. Uh, um, all my second level spell slots are gone, and it's literally been for nothing. Oh, it hurts so, me. Am I sorry? Minutes. Yes. Can I promise it won't happen again? No. <laughs> five minutes goes by. You guys are sneaking your way through. It's pretty good. And then Noah just barrels right over a dredge. Just like trip, fall. It makes a lot of noise. He makes a lot of noise. Ah, oh, shit. Again. He makes a lot of noise. <laughs> so, okay. That's fine. Is I'm that just glad I didn't roll the I... lowest. <laughs> I thought I was gonna roll the lowest. I have the best modifier, and I'm the one who rolled the best. <laughs> it's a uh, you, you, you know. can't save us from our bad rolls. The, the rich get rich. This is what it's like to play a rogue. Like this is what it's like on Sundays with Luna. <laughs> Mm. I feel like I'm playing hurt. Corvus again, Max. <laughs> yeah, right? This wasn't so, even with disadvantage. You all will <laughs> kill the dretch again, but this is like three dozen dretches. Uh, you all take 10 points of damage. Oh. Yeah. Each. Okay. And at this point, you're getting close enough you can see the portal, and it's just a constant stream of dretches pouring out of it. There's no, like, boss or anything that we can see that's channeling the portal. Nope. How okay. close do you have to be to close it? Oh, boy. That stealth roll is not making me particularly uh, confident. After <laughs> 120 feet. It's not terribly close. How how far away are we? Three hundred feet. Uh, yeah, that sounds good. Pass without a trace is still up. 
We want to try sneaking up to it. Maybe for an hour. Although, actually, <laughs> should I? I'll make a con save, Sai, to sure. see if Pastor the Trace is still up. Yeah. Y'all, it's real tight though. Uh, Thirteen, I think, is fine. But my dice are really. <laughs> Not your dice. dice your dice <laughs> all of our dice i think you know the 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 recap um dice were pretty were foretelling of what this our rolls would be because v rolled a 19 for recap <laughs> yeah should i try and get their attention and just I'll lead them away from you guys while you try and close the portal. You will. There's like 50 of them. Well, you you'll will die. You will not do that. You, you'll just stop. <laughs> <laughs> <Maybe? laughs> Get out of here. You gave me these boots so I can fly away if it gets too bad. Should I fly? Oh, I can't fly you in. I can't pick you up. This is so annoying to me. <laughs> uh, well, I, I gave those to you to, to help you out in combat, not necessarily to, to lead danger, to isolate you with danger, Lowell. Um, that's, that's just that we can't just keep fighting them as there's too many coming through at a time we've got to create an opening for you to try and close it Feel like a quarterback right now. Um, you should just try sneaking again. And yeah, we can, but if get found again, or if we run into him again then we might not have a choice anymore yeah I mean if you think um, you can do it without putting yourself in too much danger well, I trust I you Lowell but uh they can't fly, okay. right? They haven't fl flown yet. The dredges? Famous last words. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then it's, oh, God. What's what the worst that could happen? Fly up and stab me? Man who was flying above creature. <laughs> okay. uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye. If it turns out they can fly, we'll go in and give a little support. Right. Okay. I think giving you the time you need in order to try and close this portal is better than just trying to fight our way through waves and waves of dredges. We can fly. You you did give me. These I don't boots. like it either. But I I don't like it either. But it seems like it's our best chance. Cause I'm. Guys like to point out a lot. I'm really fast. He's very fast. Does um does Flash of Genius work on something like Dispel Magic? No. Uh, I oh wait, is it a is it a check? Uh. Can I guidance him? Is no. this a thing that guidance would work on? Come on, I never use it. I know. I can guide you I, on your stealth check, though. I'd imagine you if you had enhance one. ability, it's uh, enhancing his intelligence or whatever might give him advantage on it. But that would probably be the uh, best you could get. I don't. 
I don't have a man's yeah. ability prepped. Yeah, I um, I re-prepped my spells bad. I ain't got it. Uh, I should ha fucking have this spell magic so I can help Noah, but I don't, so... <laughs> <laughs> kind of fucking support caster am I without dispel magic, but here we are. Alright. Well, just let me know when you're ready, you know. Start making a lot of noise, or start running and making a lot of noise. Alright. Let's do it. <sighs> Hell... All right, well, we'll start booking it and yelling and trying to get as many of their attention as possible to try and lead them away from the party. Does Nim want to do anything before that happens? Yeah, I guess you should tell you guys. Sorry. Uh, oh, he sorry, he was trying to get some information from the demon before we did this. Oh god. In case it would help, in case it would help us with the portal. Um <laughs> got a way to close it, but you might not like it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> um I have to let the demon take over for a couple minutes and why should we trust it to close a portal to the abyss Is... I mean we can see if your way works and if it doesn't then I don't know how many other options we have can I sorry so I can I ask a question though sure Okay, right, here's a description for Dispel Magic. Yeah, I'm reading up some information on it. I personally don't like it because it makes the check hilariously easy. It's, I mean, nine, DC 19 is not a joke. It's, it's got a it's, plus five? That's a less... Plus four. Yeah. He's got a... So I have to roll sixty percent chance of success. Fifteen or higher. Yeah, and then one d four would make it would make it easier. Right. It's no, just... I, I get that. I mean, it's your ruling. I just was reading it. Yeah, it's this is a three point five issue I have with it. Uh, because three point five had these problems before with like uh, spell checks and uh, uh, spell resistance where you couldn't add stuff like that to it. Um, right now, my gut feeling is I understand it's okay and it works with that, but there are a lot of things out there like jack of all trades from bards and uh, inspiration to me just makes it just silly. Like it stops yeah. being a problem. If, yeah. if you can take a third level caster, dump a bunch of things on him and make him almost guaranteed to be, drop a ninth level spell. Like that doesn't sound right to me. So, yeah. I think it also, I don't want to, I don't really want to push the, like it would, it's more to help you keep, if you just spell magic at certain levels, that's a better way of shutting things down than trying to just toss a bunch of third level spells, whatever. Yeah. Does that makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is just going to be my ruling for now, and I can run at it again if necessary. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. So the ruling being it's just going to be the straight... It's a straight roll. Straight roll plus the, the spell casting ability? Yes, I think... Hey, but I... It's not the time. <laughs> I think I'm okay with enhance ability doing something to it just because enhance ability on its own is like another second yeah. or third level spell. Yeah, I'm I just I don't have it, so yeah. No, I, I, I meant uh, I meant so your ruling is we're, we're running the spell as is. Yes. But you can't be You can't buff it with else. anything okay. except for enhance ability at this point. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't prep it anyway. 
Um, it's fine. Yeah, totally fine. Understandable. Okay. Um, Noah probably doesn't even have enough knowledge of, of demonic portals. We'll just say that. Um, uh, yeah. Hey. Um, so yeah, so once I get close enough, 120 feet, I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. I'm just double checking if Nim wants to do anything or not. Yep. He, he's yep. going to see totally. if the dispel magic works first, I think. Okay. Okay. All Go right. ahead and roll. Uh, they don't have a roll on for dispel magic, so... Or, or maybe they do. Uh, it should be just your your uh, oh, oh, spellcasting modifier. Uh, okay. Um, let me just do the roll here. D20. Oh, that was almost a one. Well, it was almost a lot of high numbers too. Yep, uh, yep. Yeah, that that doesn't work. Yep. Um, okay. Yeah, they're natural twenty. Okay. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Make me a con save. Okay. Does this have to do with being poisoned? Nope. Okay. I know I was in the kitchen, but I wanted to stand Noah's ass, so I'm going to be right behind him. Okay. 14. Can I flash a genius then? Sure. So it's an 18. Um, a green beam shoots out from the portal and hits Noah when he mm -hmm. dispels it. The portal closes. Uh, and you take 35 points of force damage. Sorry, that's a deck save. Oh. Well, I'm making it a con save, so that's what happens. Well, if you the still made it. Yeah. So, oh, okay. Okay. I might have killed you if I actually made it to the next. Was that a disintegration? Yes, that was a disintegration. Jesus. I'm going to well, immediately be, cure wounds, Noah. It would have been a 14 on a deck, Steve, so. Really? Damn. Yeah, because I have, I'm, I'm a proficient in, in con saves. So it's a plus seven and then decks. So it's it would be essentially my con save roll without the flash of genius. Cool. Take 20 points of health back. 20? Mm-hmm. Thanks. Because I'm welcome. super low. Yeah. Should have had my defensive shield up. <laughs> if you want more, I'll start using my Healy pool on you, too. That's, that's, or are you good? Uh, I'm good for now. I'm going to pop my defensive field to get 10 temp HP. <laughs> And I think during this whole thing, Lil is still running and flying around because he's probably got a whole bunch of whole horde of dredges butt chasing after him now. All right. All right. I was not expecting that. Fuck, are you okay? Disagree. Uh, that hurt. I was not expecting that. Where's Nim? Nim? <laughs> He's like right there with you guys. Yep. So still. <laughs> Nim, are you you? Yeah, he's he's still himself. Yeah. Okay. I'm. I'm glad we didn't have to take the backup option. I guess is all all I wanted to say. <laughs> so then, what now? Do we clean up the dredge? I mean... 
I'd like to kill as many of these fucking things as possible, but I don't know what kind of difference it would make. It looks like there's hundreds in the forest. We're having this discussion while Lowell's in the back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's like the scene with Korshana picking up her stuff and Lowell's flying with the movable rod in the back. <laughs> She's just like mind linking with him like, you got this, you're doing great! Because I have a hundred foot reach now. As you're talking to us, wow. Just, you know, every once in a while, encouraging him, making him feel special. This is definitely one of those moments where you're kind of tapped out and if you fought what is all the Dredge army, you might get overwhelmed. Uh -huh. Just from yeah. the sheer number of them. Huh? Yeah. That makes sense. Can we well, let Charis know where this is? And yes. they sent out people who are capable of cleaning up shop. Um does the poison look like it's dissipating or does it look like it'll take a while? It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. Um poison probably won't get... dissipate with all the dredges still here. Right. Yeah, and that's true. Except Lowell well, couldn't say that because he's still yeah. I don't avoiding treasures. <laughs> just we just hear like like a few words of it each time he goes by. I think yeah. the dredges <laughs> are gonna. If you're close enough to talk to them, some of the dredges are gonna peel off to start attacking. Back. Boy, I know. I, he wouldn't get that close. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna go AFK and get some pancakes. So you talk to <laughs> yourselves. Whoa, making pancakes, nice. making making pancakes, make some bacon and I put it in a pancake. Make They're gonna pancakes. be enough for everybody. I hope so. Well, actually, I, since he can't share, I hope he doesn't. <laughs> There's nothing quite like seeing food you can't eat. <laughs> Hi, Bex. <laughs> Your back says, Go ahead. <laughs> Enjoying your food that we can't eat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm really glad that that worked, but I can definitely see what silent means because, you know, I actually didn't feel. I actually felt pretty confident casting that against the ninth level spell you know yeah. and if, you, if, if all you're trying to do is just drop this one thing you can dedicate like all your spell slots to it yeah i get it yeah it's like want i don't have a problem with it i just like want to advocate for the use of the tools that my character has available to them you know what i mean yeah that's true and if it's if the dm says it's not balanced for the situation then it's not but yeah i'm always gonna read the rules and be like this is how i think it should go based on what i understand of how it works yeah that's true yeah i literally never use guidance like i literally forget it exists at all times and i'm like hmm, i can use guidance on this and i can't you know what <laughs> okay. yeah. Just kidding. That's that's why I picked mending on Mio and, and mm -hmm. I still forgot to use it. <laughs> Whoever looks at their fucking cantrip list, like cantrips yeah. are bullshit. I looked at my cantrip list after I after I could have possibly needed it, and you know what spell I had on there? Resistance. Mm -hmm. You know what that could have saved Oops. me? A flash of genius. Yep. Because I could have just cast resistance on the moon. Yeah. Save him from his terrible, terrible rolls. Oh, well, yeah, then maybe resistance wouldn't have been the best because it would have maybe it could have just been a one. <laughs> I mean, I just rolled bad on everything, so it makes it a little less bad, but. <laughs> this is why you have luck, though, right? Yes, it is. I, I picked that from level, like from character creation for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> It's nice that Silent gave us a Christmas present for our this campaign too. Right. <laughs> yeah, a starting fee helps you do more yeah. things during during the campaign. Yeah. But I need the the three advantage roll things in emergencies is so nice. I I need that. That is what I need the most. <laughs> <laughs> Fix my damn rolls. <laughs> 
fixes your rolls. Still roll low on all of them. I mean, it's fixed some of them that were like at real bad times. It would have been real bad. I think mm -hmm. what the ba the bad thing was when I used it all up and then got that one. That was when it was bad. <laughs> so I burned them all. Then I got the yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would have failed before you ended up at the one. So yeah. it was kind of like a perfect... I mean, I, I had to burn them all before confluent. because I had already rolled all the bad rolls. Did we see the pancakes? <laughs> oh, oh nice. Good. So golden. <laughs> so fluffy. I'm one of those people that doesn't really like berries on their pancakes. I just like butter and syrup. Oh, you know what I like on my pancakes is a is a fried egg. Oh, oh. The yolk all up in there, so good. Savory pancake. Yeah. yeah. Put That's bacon on there too me. if you want. Well, bacon, yeah. yeah. Well, bacon and yeah. Then you like don't need you don't need syrup. syrup. If you've got fucking egg yolk all over your shit. It's delicious. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's not about needing syrup. <laughs> Whoever said anything about needing? <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have a pancake without something on it. That's I, I, a lot of the times I don't need the pancake either, but I, I, I still need it. <laughs> good point. Good point. Sausage and bacon with maple syrup is pretty great. Ooh, so good. Not so sure about egg and maple syrup, though. Maybe scrambled. No, eggs. If you're going to do the egg on the pancake, you can't do syrup. Absolutely. Well, then no fried egg for me ever. <laughs> I'll have that with my um, with my Popsi log, my Filipino breakfast, garlic mm -hmm. breakfast. Yes. Filipino breakfast is good. Yep. But I don't know about pancakes. <laughs> Sorry, I don't, mean to, I don't rice, mean to shame you. Fried egg? <laughs> Longanisa? Nah. Yes. Yeah, it's quite the privilege to say that I grew up eating that. My uh, the cafeteria at my old job had Filipino breakfast Wednesdays, so every Wednesday they had like longanisa or seasick or Whoa, something with garlic fried really? rice and tomato and a fried Damn. egg. Oh, so good. That's yeah, amazing. So I, I was like, I don't even care that it costs money. Every Wednesday I'm having breakfast at work. Filipino food is is underrepresented. I agree. Because a lot of it's just home cooked, so. There are quite a few places up here, but that's because we have like a decent sized population, yeah. especially in like Daly City. But there's like oh, a lot yeah. of places yeah. here. <laughs> there's like four, four or five Filipino places I can get on DoorDash from my house. So nice. But yeah. I do agree in general, and I didn't really know about it till like five years ago. You know, like most people just know like lumpia, and, like yeah. pancit. That's it. Yep. <laughs> This hole is still flying around. We should probably get out it's of like, here, right? Done yet? Like, yeah. <laughs> well, we all like they're just chatting. Yeah. Uh, probably need to go somewhere. Should we head well, to Charis now? Are we, are we teleporting? Because I distinctly recall we did not take an associated item from there, so this is going to be rough. Wait, oh, seriously? God. Yeah. I, I checked this last time. Nobody took one. Do you guys have oh anything God. from Charis? Just want to double check. Did anybody take anything? I didn't take anything. Did anybody buy anything or take anything from Charis? No. Anyone? Anything? True. Anybody have any items from Charis? Nope. Nope. The pocket bacon's from your dad's house. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Hey, Nim. Uh huh. Can we put you in charge of collecting associated objects for teleport spell, please? Can that be your job? Sure. Please. Yeah, you got it. Um. I well. I can either spend one second trying to get us to either to char us one second getting us somewhere I'm more familiar with or ten minutes getting us to Asarius. But ten minutes is kind of a long time. Don't we wanna warn the people of or update the people of Charis though? I mean we did tell them to be on alert. I mean tell them that it's likely not gonna get worse 
and that they can start making plans to reclaim the forest? We've managed to get there successfully twice already. Yeah. I mean, I think they still have to worry about the night hag and gonna... the flaming horse. I'm just going to be, like, going through his bag looking for actual associated items he has from, like, other places for, like, one second travel in this timeline that would not go badly. Let's see. I should actually keep a real list for that because I'm losing track of what stuff's from this timeline. What do we have? I should look at You're the... Gonna have to do... I, I'm, I'm bad at keeping track because I don't know what some of the stuff, which timeline it's from. You're going to have to do a different Google Sheet. For each timeline. Right, yeah. I can't even keep us on this timeline. What do I have? Uh, <laughs> yeah, lost, lost the <laughs> we, could, we could. He does have the sending thing, but she can't meet us here. We'd still have to leave somehow. Yeah, we walk. We can't, she can't come here. We have to leave on foot then. Yeah. You want to do that? Yeah. Okay. Lowell. We're... I telepathically tell Lowell <laughs> where we're going, and I'm going to keep a mind link open with him so I can make sure he's still coming in our direction silently. Are you a faster runner or flyer? They're both the same now. Damn, so you're like zooming. <laughs> yeah, the, the wing boots give you a flying speed equal to your walking speed. God. Let me fate That's dice roll. Crazy. Fate dice? Oh no. All I'm right. so sorry. Don't be Icarus, please. Ooh. You mind lick with him to come catch up and try to get out of the bubble. And he flies up next to you and he's like, I mean I can I can get there no problem with you guys. And then he I brings all the dredges with him. Oh god. Fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, actually, no, he didn't say, oh, shit. Damn. No. Oh, no. <laughs> actually, it would have been... Running? Are we oops. running? I don't, oops. I don't know. I mean, if you're not running, you're going to be fighting very shortly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we're running. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, okay. So, Lowell's just flying above you like, I don't know what the problem is, guys. Like, backwards. <laughs> cool. Everybody who's not low, make me a deck save. Oh boy. Deck save. What the fuck, these dice? That's an 11. Let's go to jail. Take dice. <laughs> oh, I think something happened to your headset, Bex. Koroshana ended up being a little too distracted by Lol doing what he did and she trips and falls. Oh no no. Um no, turn around and Okay. How, how good is Emmett copying everybody's spells? <laughs> Cause Him? uh yeah, how good is Emmett copying everyone's spells? Cause uh I don't, know. No, I, I don't think I've ever seen uh yeah, I don't think we can try saying something. Hear me now? Yeah, but not through your yeah, normal mic. Yeah, very far. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm trying to re reconnect my headset, but yeah, we can hear you guys. Yep, we can hear you, it's just not through your normal mic. Um, Nim's never seen her copy any of his spells, but we can find out if that's possible. But it's either going to work or it's going to split the party. I mean, if I trip and fall, I'm going to teleport 30 feet ahead. Okay. So party knows not to stop and wait for me. Okay. Unfortunately, I was, I, Noah was too distracted by that and like paused. I'm gonna. This is his Dex eleven. Like oh, he didn't trip and fall, but he did stumble and pause a little. Like he's like, oh, uh, oh, 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 shit. Because um, Nim was gonna try to uh, dimension door you forward, and then maybe M would be able to dimension door Noah forward also. Well, to try if to keep people you moving. can dimension door. Yes. Why don't you do that, and I'll turn into a fucking horse and carry Noah out of here, and Lowell can run at full goddamn speed. 
Because <laughs> there's four of us on the ground and one person in the air. Dimension door can take one person with. We could move yeah. four people on the ground. Take, take the take take Noah the heavy one. Okay. And M wouldn't be able to dimension door me because we're different sizes. Can ride on me then. Uh, why wouldn't she be able to? M is technically medium. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. I teleport forward 30 feet. So oh, I okay. can teleport up to 60. So I tell when I fall, I teleport forward 60 feet and then I turn into a horse and I wait okay. for someone to jump on me. That's what I do. Okay. <laughs> the dimension door thing is not happening then. <laughs> well, you teleport forward as a bonus action, right? Yep. Okay. And wild shape yeah. is an action. Right. Yep, exactly. So one round I teleport and I turn into a horse. Yep. Okay. Okay. Who jumps on the horse? Not Noah, I think. Maybe I can Noah. carry Noah. That's why I'm a horse and not a damn eagle. Okay. <laughs> Noah. Noah, you okay, want to yeah. get on? Depends on yeah. whether Noah understands why she, she's turning into a horse. I don't think anyone <laughs> knows yet. Or Noah? Get on! Mind blank. Alright. <laughs> um, so Noah will get on. Can you support Nim? Uh, M2? DM. M gets on as well. <laughs> no, you cannot. Can <laughs> oh, 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 never mind. Um, or I... would... go with would... go with Uncle Nim then. M and Nim. Uh, Law, what are you doing? Uh, I guess still flying along. Uh, if they've got no way to, if M's just having to run, would Law be able to pick her up and fly with her? The I mean, you, can certainly, you can certainly try. Yeah, I'll try. Okay. Uh, make me acrobatics. Because Nim can also dimension doorway. Nim. What does Nim do? He's just gonna be running apparently by himself. <laughs> Maybe he'll just go oh, invisible. No, no, no. He's just gonna go like, fucking invisible like, if you guys leave him. Like, no, if he's the only no, one there, he's going fucking just invisible just now. Teleport forward. Teleport. 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 He can he can go invisible and dimension door. He's got enough spell slots for both. But you can dimension door. Even by himself, he's going invisible. You don't have to use the spell slot to go invisible. There's a bunch door. of stretch around. If he's if he's being left behind, he will go invisible so stuff doesn't attack him. <laughs> All right. Well, I can't help him. If he's invisible, okay. then Cortana can't mind link with him. So I guess. All right. Well, I, hold on. I, so this is how I like how this is played out. Like it, it started. It started tumbling a little bit. Cortana's like, oh shit, oh shit. All right, horse. All right. Noah hops on. He's like, all right. M M hops on. Of course, was like, oh, too much, too much. Tap out, tap out. And Lowell's like, I got you. And then Nim's like. Deuces, and everybody's like, "What just no. happened?" Yeah, where did you go? <laughs> oh no, I, I, well, I think we lost. From my him. understanding, it sounds like he got left behind because everybody pretty much ran off without him. So my I understanding is he's the no, he would be running at the no, same the pace as No, the teleporting plan was if uh, Korshana didn't turn teleport and turn into a horse. I abandoned that once she had a different plan. I'm like, okay, no, no teleporting because there's something else happening. So now he's not doing that. That was my understanding. But Nim wouldn't have been left behind because Noah's yeah, the same. Yeah, we're, uh, we're not. Oh, you're not like, moving? Not the horse is like stationary? Yeah, I thought we were running from all up. the dredge. We're running from a yeah, bunch of dredge. But even. Now, Noah can't outrun Nim. So unless Nim stops, they get to Korshan at the same time. No, I'm okay with this. This is this is how it plays out because Nim has a low wisdom modifier and doesn't really quite understand what's all happening because it is still pretty chaotic. Yeah. But just saying that that Nim wouldn't be yeah, you're not, behind um, because feet behind everybody else, you're right with everybody. You're like because Noah was there. not Noah was not part of the misty step. So Korsha, so you got on the horse and then the horse is just staying there. Well, he had he, he had to run to catch up to the horse. So you're both yeah. running and you get yeah. to the horse at the same time. Okay. I so still think you're... I still think it's okay if Nim goes invisible. Sure, sure. Yeah, that's because what you want to do, but the point is you're not 60 feet behind us. You're right next to us. 
But you're gonna outpace him. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's gonna get left not. behind if, like, one group, like, flew off and the other's on horseback. He will not be able to keep up with either group. Right, but, but he doesn't all just dimension teleport, them. So, like, my character is assuming that you're gonna use your ability to teleport yeah. and not get left behind. Like, if you Which go 500 fine. feet in front of us and yeah. then start running, we will catch up to you in, like, 15 rounds. You're still way ahead. It's, he's, it's still, fine. he's alone either way, and, and if there's stretches around, he would still need to be invisible to not die. <laughs> I think Nim going the invisible route is fine. Fits okay. perfectly. It's chaotic. I, I can leave him invisible. I'll leave him invisible. It's fine. No, I mean, do what you're going to do. I just yeah. like, I want to make sure that we're all on the same page about what's actually happening. That's all so, I'm saying. So, Korshana, you have Noah on your back. You almost lost, you almost collapsed just because M was just a bit too much, but Lowell saved that. Thank M you. is with Lowell flying in the air. She's like, this is cool. Uh, and you don't Isn't see him it? anywhere. Oh god. Well, I mean, <laughs> Nim's gone, so I guess we're running. Uh, I am going to cast the invisibility. Good idea. <laughs> uh, I don't you're smart, Daddy. <laughs> so, Nim, the way this had pl played out, unfortunately, because Corshawn is still moving, yes? I guess if Nim disappears, then I would hope that he's... Yeah, I don't know what else to do. So yes, I would start running if Nim disappears. Okay, because you move at 60. Yeah. And you're probably going to double move, which is 120. Yeah. Which is outside of the range of sea invisibility. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, yeah. I mean, you heard him cast invisible. Like, you're an arcane caster, yeah, you yeah. understand what it means to cast invisibility. Yeah. But you don't it, know where it is. Yeah, but it lasts for an hour, so I'm just keeping an eye. Because sure. uh, it, because I wouldn't see where Nim would teleport to if, you know, so. Sure. Oh, so, wait, I'm stupid. Is, can he leave us familiar with you guys? Because maybe at least the bird doesn't weigh that much. He does have the bird with him. Would that weigh you down too much if that came with you? Come on, it, can it fly with us? So the bird is chasing after Lowell. Okay. <laughs> is it winning, though? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is It is frantically cacawing at him. <laughs> Outpacing a bird in its natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nim, okay. what are you doing? A couple of dredges have run past you. Like, nobody knows you're there. Um, I mean, he can burn the other spell slot on Dimension Door and get the 500 feet head start, and then he's just got to keep running. <laughs> all right. That's that's all he's got. I mean, we're trying to get to the edge of where the bubble was. All right, so make me a fate roll, Nim. Yeah, you got it. I hope you roll low. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> Watch, it's a plus four. Damn. Damn. Pretty damn close. close <laughs> By somehow sheer luck, even though you have nobody who understands how to track anywhere or have That's any crazy. understanding of like where you were and how to backtrack, you managed to get to the exact same spot <laughs> you got in. <laughs> and the other two people do have the people that track, and they also arrive at that spot. <sighs> So you're all been like, outside where the bubble was. You mind like with Noah and just and just be like, do you know where Nim is? Like, can you keep track? Uh, like, tell me if you see him. That kind okay. of stuff. I don't. I don't see Nim until we get to. I mean, you see closer. Nim in the you, uh, so see, because invisibility, and then if he casts Dimension Door, that breaks the invisibility. So as soon as he yes. gets oh, to, oh yeah, the that's spot, right. Oh, yep, whoops, I put it the wrong order. Oh, yep, well, you sure did. doesn't matter. It's too late now. In the distance, as you're running towards yeah. the bubble, you see Nim, like, running, yeah. wondering why he did this as a couple of dredgers are running after him. So yeah. here's here's my question, just for, for, for flavor. What does it look like when an entity, when you see an entity through see invisibility? Do you see them as if they weren't invisible, or is there, like, a special, like, color? Like, a special aura? 
like I, like I see Nim, but I'm not sure if it's because he. <laughs> I see Nim, but maybe I'm not it's sure like if it's like you can see it, see them as if they're a ghost in a movie, where oh, they're God. you can see their what they look like, but they're kind of see through. But is no, it that's, Casper that's the or ethereal, Patrick Swayze? The ethereal creatures oh. appear like that. Uh, uh, I would flavor that you understand they are invisible. Like looking at them doesn't really change much, but like mentally based on how the spell works, like, you know, that thing is invisible. There's something off about it. Okay. Yeah. So then I can tell that when I see him, he's not invisible. Yes. Okay. Well, Kidding, I mean, I see him. Kors Korshana would see him before you <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. Fuck shit. I don't want to make him any faster. Balls. <laughs> All right. You're all outside the bubble, still being chased by Dredge. Where's okay. Kay? Just waiting there. Can you take us to Charis? Uh, I need you all together. Okay. Yep. Yep. Run into the arms of your girlfriend, Nim. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. She can't say that out loud. That was me. <laughs> Roshana wouldn't say that. Uh, she would, but she can't speak right now. She's a horse. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe she said it in <laughs> she horse. She mind link say it. Yeah, I've been, I've been it. sticking with oh. Noah for possible key communication since. Do you, do you ask Noah to say it? <laughs> she no, thinks no, it and like she can't help but project that into your brain, and so that's up to you. Um, or Shona <laughs> sister runs in the arms of your girlfriend. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll do that. That's. I'm going to, for, for this purpose of this scene, it doesn't matter, but I will yep. mention for you, Bex, for future reference, for you to see the person that's riding you, riding on your back, yeah, and also being full sprint to me doesn't make sense. Um, I think this is how I've been thinking about it since we're talking about it. Once you like select it you can basically use an action to keep it open for an hour. So for me, I imagine that she looks to make that connection and then she has to keep it up in order to then continue speaking with them. And I guess they don't go outside of her range. They're not blocked by anything. They're like right there behind her. Does she have to maintain that? Like As an action, when you're the... speaking telepathically to a creature, you can give that creature the ability to speak telepathically with you for the next hour or until you end it as an action you can reply to this message so i imagine that like you have to have eyes on someone to establish the link and if you just keep it cash <laughs> then if you looked away then you wouldn't have it anymore but if you take the it would slow her down for a round right she'd lose 60 feet to take an action to keep that link open does that make sense Because I've been thinking about it as like she establishes that more like sturdy one hour long. Like. Yeah. Because yeah, I totally can't like look as a horse just to like spot your leg or whatever and then like keep it like that and also run 120 feet around. That's crazy. Yeah, but if it doesn't clarify that you have to see them the entire time, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Like, we could use it to, if we know Nim's going to go invisible to scout something, to, like, establish a link before he goes invisible. But once he's invisible, I can't. Can't, like, change it and then reestablish it. Yes. The only thing else. I will make sure is that as long as he stays within your range. Yeah. Okay. That's totally fair. Cool. Great. All right. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Korshana is gonna. I, I imagine Korshana looks at Cor or Nim, and Cor is Issa just says that. Oh, that's so sweet, and like everybody's like, "What?" And only Korshana <laughs> and Cor Issa understand what just happened. Not because she <laughs> said it, but like mind. for some reason she read the horse's face. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Yes. That's <laughs> okay. Uh, so everybody gathers together and she teleports everybody to Charis. Oh boy. 
<sighs> Ready to uh, talk to the others. Can you get off? Yeah. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> oh, it's cool. It's cool. Thank you. No, we'll get off. I will become Korshana so that I can apologize to Nim for making him feel left behind because that wasn't my intention. I was thought you would teleport. I'm sorry. I mean, he did teleport. He was just in a panic and he cast the spells in the wrong order because he just like wasn't expecting that. Invisibility <laughs> deuces. Teleport. Oh, fuck. Not sure. Yeah. <laughs> Damn you, wisdom modifier. I'm glad we're all safe. Look, lol. Hey, lol. Put my kid down. <laughs> <laughs> but I like flying. We in charge right now? Yep. Hmm. Huh? Well, hell. Going to see the elders. Again, they're going to be like, Stott, boy who cried wolf. Sure. Totally bad things coming. Uh, up to them if they want to think that. As long as they don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> well, I think we actually made it so that there's going to be less thing, bad things coming. Let's just... all put down M. Oh man, he's really yeah. thinking about it. <laughs> Another four yeah, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> How long do those boots last? Four hours. They're flying for four hours. <laughs> nah, he would have landed when to do the teleport and Set her down. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Okay. Anyway. Alright, so. You're in Charles. Everybody settled down. You want to go talk to the elders? Does anybody just start walking off? I will start walking. All right, no, start just walking starts off. walking off. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah. <laughs> gets heading over yep. there. We're going. <laughs> we talk to them and like get some rest or something. Yeah, rest. Is uh, good. yeah. The, the guards are like, come right on in. <laughs> oh, yep, howdy. <clears throat> Hello, adventurers. So good to see you again. Well, Hi. we. I think we found the source. Did we, you know? We took out a portal, but what's here already is still going to be here. Oh, that's... Well, I guess that's good and bad news. Um, but good. Does that mean the force will stop being poisoned? Uh... Yeah. More treacherous These... to kill the faster it stays this stops staying the same or getting worse or we'll there were show up we think yeah there were yeah. the hundreds we had to leave we were a bit overwhelmed but oh understandable um if your patrols can help send them out the fewer there are the faster the force will recover of course where are they I tell him where they are. <laughs> A long way south. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do that. Uh, <laughs> the only reference point, unfortunately, for you is how Lowell got there in the first place. So you're like a couple, like five fey portals. I 
to forgot this location. that the the forest like parted for us to arrive at village. <laughs> I thought we walked there. So like I mean technically you did. We just we, give them the latitude and longitude. <laughs> I have keen mind no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, it was yeah. south for quite a ways. Let's see. Uh well we don't generally go that far down south. But we will try and thin out what we have around us. Any adventurers that come through that are heading south, have them clear out as many as they can, I guess. Uh, we don't have much, but we can try and scrounge up something for you for taking care of the problem. <laughs> of course, I doesn't care, but I do. I want that money. <laughs> I you don't need to worry about that. I <laughs> your, your Laura Bailey show. Oh, my Laura Bailey is my life. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Yeah, what Lowell said. Sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, Lowell did it for kind of selfish reasons once we got there. <clears throat> I but we have we just... a place to stay for you all, warm bed and warm meals. That would be plenty. Yeah, that's plenty. Um, didn't Thank kill you. that night hag, so our recommendation on what guards and sleeping arrangements probably still stands. Of course. Unless you guys spotted it and killed it while we were gone. Uh, not to my knowledge. Oh yeah, that's that's a great point, Nim. <laughs> I'm just going to assume you said that out loud. I was just teasing. <clears throat> I didn't actually well, ask that. If we're not going to take any money, can we at least take an associate? <laughs> we have to, ask, we we have to actually ask these. for it. I was I was making a joke, though. If we're not going to take money, but we should ask for it. job now. I know. That's not a joke. That's a thing we should do. I know. <laughs> Well, instead of money or anything like that, is there anything that we could remember this town by that was made here with materials from here? A small, a small object. So question. the problem. Is, <laughs> I know. It's I, very, it's my very mind very just went fucking off the the cliff, and it was like, "Well, you could go talk to my son. He was definitely made here." <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh no! Take his seat. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> And then I was like, oh my god, Corvus. am I going to make him like we're match make Corvus one of these with us? Like, this is terrible. Oh god. <laughs> All right, we're taking I mean, Corvus with us. I'm just going to throw it out there that Liam O'Brien literally just takes a pebble from every town they go to and writes and like writes on it where it's from and puts it in his bag. <laughs> That's like, smart. It doesn't have to be hard. I thought, it, I thought the specifics was that it had to like be made into something. It can't just be like you take a rock from here. I thought it had to actually be manufactured into a thing. Can it literally just be we take a rock from like the ground in this town and it's considered to me, that's associated? Boring. That's extremely boring. Yeah, I thought like, there had to be like Associated objects a... to me is something you can look at and be like, oh, that's from that's X. That's from the forest, yeah. But so, that's not objective to people. take a pebble from the ground, like, come on. So I think that was done just because, like, eventually they're going to figure out how to do it. And so just to make things easier for everybody, like, this is what we do, right? Um, to me, I still want you guys to, like, try and think of good things that would be considered associated. What like what is Charis known for like making? Did we yeah, that's, notice, that's did we notice question. what they like made or did? Because they were kind of not really like they were kind of not open for business at the time we were wandering <laughs> around there, so we didn't really and see what they did. This is they, this is how this is going to turn out. El, Char, the elder of Charis is absolutely going to have a good answer for you. I okay. 
as yeah. a DM cannot think of anything right now. No how about a how about a uh, how about a piece of equipment that's used by the forging party? It's not a bad idea. He will give you one of Sivrock's old pieces of armor. Cool. I've seen too many battles. Be grande, but Yay. in the back of holding. Yeah. Corvus's scale mail. <laughs> so are we putting that in the bag or Nim, are you carrying that? I just want us to write it down so we don't have to go sure on to put a label Do on. we have an associated object? We just know. I'm I'm putting it in my notes. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have so much like random shit in her bag. Hell yeah. Got tankards from taverns. And I'm have to actually like scale mail. Go through my hey, notes I was pretty happy with that tankard. The tanker was cool. I like the tankard. <laughs> I think it's my favorite thing. Buildings. It's fine. Kind of sucks that we had to give it back, though. Yeah. It's super sad. Okay. We had so you we were gave given that piece of armor and. Awesome. Now what do you do? Well, the the idea was, um, we since it was teleporting us in the middle of the tavern every time. Yeah, I, I thought I ended up there. giving them like a uh, five hundred GP deposit in order to. Why does he keep doing that? Oh, okay. We did not like oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. yeah, we didn't. And then as soon as we, as soon as we want the five hundred back, we. But I think we, it. you guys, like we had such an issue because like it was so hard to get to Jigao. It was like we didn't want to mess with like any other way to get to Jigao because it's like this actually works. We just didn't want to try anything else because it was so hard <laughs> to get there. We'll just, Since we'll we bounced all over the continent oh, to yeah, get there. Oh yeah, and Shit got incredibly real right after that, so we never yeah. went back. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's and it's now in a different timeline, I think. Oh yep. fuck. Yep. Because that was pre Bolbara, like. Yeah. So we we oh, actually, yeah. if we use that, we'd piece. go back to a different timeline, Jigao. We go Rest back to the darkest Bulbara. timeline where we came from. We should check on Bolbara in this timeline. <laughs> Let's really not do that. <laughs> I think we killed the this timeline one with the time travel we did. I don't I know if I fully the understand. I probably cut her thread, yeah. just to guess. I don't know if I fully understand what we did with our past time travel, but I believe it was to the past of this timeline. And... Do we even remember her? Probably not. <laughs> probably only Nim does. The, the Bulbara in this timeline? All no, I was just kidding. Because because Beck said that the fates cut her thread, so like, like she doesn't Hercules. exist anymore. That thread <laughs> won't cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we gonna get some sleep or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Nim, how are you? Oh, we're, we'll leave the uh, the elders hut <laughs> before <laughs> Noah will say. Uh, uh huh. Nim, how are you feeling? You still feeling a uh, stabby stab? That's a way of putting it, <laughs> but sure, that's a that's a thing that the. Do I really need to discuss this out loud, like this close to the elder hut, like? Yeah, no, Here. that's that's still happening. Yeah, okay. why? I'm just wondering for our yeah. sleeping arrangements. You guys should take a different room. We're gonna we'll sleep somewhere else. Sleep. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that in a dirty way. You you just you don't sleep. You get distracted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I'll keep watch. Probably a good idea, yeah. Is it like early enough in the evening for us to have a couple drinks like and relax before bed or is it like bedtime? No. Yeah, you yeah, can have time to relax. Day drinking. Go to the fucking tavern. I mean that's where your beds are anyways. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I wish I had my belt of dwarven kind. Did you say there was a bard in this tavern last time we were here? Mm -hmm. 
You should be trying things. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted. Roll perform. <laughs> But oh, I, I think it's just—I think it's just the B within, so I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> Maybe after a few drinks. Yeah, I mean, that know. was kind of the thought process, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, right. Oh, okay, so, I was thinking sober Corishanos. <laughs> no, oh my God, help! No. Have a moment of. of... <laughs> yeah, while well, the parties head into the tavern will just say i'm gonna i'll meet you in a bit i'm gonna go meditate for a bit all right okay. stay safe i will Poor Tim. all right so low meditates what does the rest of you do uh drink Get some cool. grape juice for him. I don't know. <laughs> she probably fucking hates that. <laughs> oh yeah, she does not want to drink grape juice. I'll, I'll, um, I'll, uh, I will pour the, I'll say gold into the alchemy jug and let her drink that. And I'll say, but don't show anybody. Don't show anybody what's inside. Okay. <laughs> So, so she's at the table. I mean, just his... understand what you're doing, right? You're like pulling out this yeah. this big eye. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know, I know. You're, you're and then it's just right. it's this little Not girl. Anybody, what's in this? <laughs> it's this little girl sitting at the table, and she has this oh big God. ass alchemy jug. <laughs> it's basically it's basically this. Um, it's basically this, but it's gold. <laughs> Does Nim drink? Sure. Make me a sleight of hand. Okay. Ooh, that was almost a ten. Bad. Everybody, Bad. Hopped. <laughs> basically, everybody watches as M tries to trade her mug with Nims. Oh my god. Oh no. You don't like the you don't like the alchemy jug drink anymore? What no, I love it. Then why are you trying to trade it? What do you mean? What are you doing? Drinking. Drinking what? Oh. Are you lying to me? Are you are no. you practicing line right now? No. Yes. You wouldn't lie to your papa, would you? Of course not. Because that would hurt me. Wait, would it? Yes. Oh. Really? Yes, it would. What if I can feel it? It's not, um, it's not a physical kind of hurt. So it hurts your brain? Hurts my heart. Oh. oh. Um. She like ashamedly like changes the glass back. <laughs> How about this? When you're um the rat age, we'll drink together. How long will that be? How old are you now? <laughs> Uh, Hard question to answer. <laughs> uh, 743. This is the wrong group. So 
Hold on one sec. Hello? I, I say this because there's so Three much months. shit that happens in our campaign that by the time it'll probably be like three years worth of games before. But she went from being like a baby to being like a 13 year old oh, in like yeah. a month. Yeah, you don't think Noah's going to to throw this over to Korshana? <laughs> you just, you wait. When did you change her? Was it after the lab stuff? Or was it before? Change her you how? Change her. You, you, you reverted her to a, a, a child before okay so it was this one okay, what, before so. which lab stuff when you started making stuff in the lab was that the beginning after. of us living in your workshop or at the end it was after because that happened in Asaris. we we went to see um you did it no you no you, you, no, you, you did, did it at it? the beginning yeah yeah you did it at I the beginning a, of that got it i've got it so um she says i'm 142 days old Days. Oh, for some reason, I thought you were going to say years there. Um, <laughs> uh, 42 days? Ugh, she's not going to like this answer. Um, <laughs> Gorshana, when do you think is a good time for for Nim to for him to to, to be able to drink? Well, Papa, you see, every person, every race of people ages at a different pace, right? Like, right. take Uncle Lowell. He's 14 years old, but technically, he's an adult. I wasn't an adult till I was 18. Right. So I think that we should decide when M is old enough based on her rate of growth, which we don't know. Yeah, she's not going to like that answer either. I mean, I said it right in front of her. Oh, well, no, yeah, he's, he's just, he's just saying it under his breath. He's, he's, he's saying it under his breath. He's, he's saying it under his breath. <laughs> it's kind of like when he's going to go, well, like, oh, Uncle Nim said it's fun to drink. Well, Uncle Nim is a little bit of a sneaky bitch, isn't he? <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just tried to trade an alcoholic beverage to my child, Nim. Come on. You, you gotta let me sassy at least a little. No, no, no. So I apologize. That wasn't Nim doing that. I just had him roll because she learned from him. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Then Korshaw didn't say that. She was specifically sassing because she thought Nim was like, here, have a beer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think she switched the drinks. He wasn't paying attention to that. From my understanding, she just Gotcha, the gotcha. Then she... Korshaw is not sassing you then. Never mind. <laughs> well, Uncle Nim's not wrong, but you have to be old enough. <laughs> Uncle Nim, what if we went to the time when I was old enough? Can we drink then? I mean, we could, but you still wouldn't be old enough if we went while well, you were still you now. So I don't think that would really solve the problem. Oh. I mean, the, you then would be able to, but that wouldn't be you. So hmm. it's comp it's complicated. <laughs> uh, Korsha is gonna mind link with Noah and say, um, or we could just let her get it out of her system right now, like we did with the overeating gold. I mean, she probably has better constitution than everybody here at this table, but um, I'm, I worry about just like, you can tell her you can just do whatever you want. There's no consequences that yeah. you shouldn't consider what you can and can't do. Um, but uh, maybe you're right. Maybe at least a day. Yeah, I, I don't, I, I'm winging it too. Mm. Raising children's tough. Um, <clears throat> uh, all right, M. how about this? For today, 
um, let's drink. And then we can talk more about when you can drink on your own. Okay, let's do it. Later. But until then, definitely you need permission from me and mom. Is that fine? Okay, I agree. All right. All right. Okay. Um, and then no, we'll go order a we'll order a round for for him. He's not gonna tell her that you can you can summon wine on the alchemy channel. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> um okay. So check some things. Are you looking at a young dragon's um, constitution? <laughs> and do you want me to make your belt of dwarven kind too? <laughs> or an amulet of health? <laughs> she downs the first drink and belches. It's like, oh, Noah, wow, will Noah will down his also. Woo, all right. Shit. Uh, I, Horshana really wants to get drunk, but I think she won't. She's a little scared. All right. Uh, make a con save. I have advantage because it's poison. Oh, you know what? <laughs> she knows she can uh, just undrunk herself, so she's fucking drinking. Let's do this. 20. <laughs> it's a 20. Okay. And M's. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, Nim's not doing so hot. <laughs> Hold on. Right. He hasn't really like well. drank any. Oh yeah, no. Like, Korshana rolled a now. five on her con save. Drunk too. My Nim and Korshana not doing so good. Corey is another, gonna appreciate another, it. Another. another. Okay. All right then. Let's go. And then he'll get another round. Does anybody else want another one? You sure? <laughs> right. Um. And then he'll order around for everyone again. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's an 18. Anybody who orders around, roll me another con save. Uh, do I, uh, I guess I should just do it. I guess I'm just doing it. good old this. Sam well. Regal die, die roll. Yep. Hey, did that in the last one. Ooh. Nim, you're like, oh, ooh, that first one was really powerful, but all right, I, I'm in it now. I'm in the smooth buzz. Uh, Korshana, you're, I mean, you're, you're getting there. Uh, Noah, you're fine. And it's protection up. for poison. I hold her hair while she's throwing up. And then oh, cast no. protection for poison on herself and says, another, another, another. Oh, God. Oh, shit. <laughs> She's she, a queen. She's gonna be the queen of the puke and rally. Oh God, that's that's cheating. You didn't uh, specify. You're right. I didn't, and that's my fault. <laughs> um, and he'll it's get another. Fun. One. It's fun. throwing up on the ground of the tavern. Fun for you, Em. Yes. Okay. He'll get another <laughs> round. <laughs> or. Right, or I'm gonna stop for, for for this round. I'm okay, gonna sit then, up then. this one. All right. I don't know how long them should be like? Not in real this? life. In real life, I'm gonna keep drinking. Twenty-four. Okay. Is them still going? Uh, this seems like a bad idea because his con is plus one, and this like that twenty was like the only one he's gonna get. This is gonna go bad if he rolls again. <laughs> Bet you have Good. luck. He does have luck. I that's not, won't necessarily <laughs> help him, but using luck on a drinky drinky uh, party. Uh, sure, oh. sure. We'll do it one more time. Oh, that was almost a nice. <laughs> yeah, let's let's use the luck on it. <laughs> How much luck does he oh still have? God. Oh, good. He's got the whole day's luck. Let's roll it again. 
We'll get At the end of the day, my... oh. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I was, the words that were coming out of my mouth right as I was saying that. Just stick with the four. <laughs> Just stick with the four. Man, you're not feeling so hot. You're just like, oh, oh man, that was too much. Yeah, oh, I think he's out. He... Well, Nim, I think you're out. <laughs> I think you should stop. Um. How's M looking? M looks fine. She's like, again, again, again. All right. I think we've overcommitted. <laughs> I overlook, uh, I did not expect the protection from poison. But OK. And he'll Maybe. order another round. Gorshan, are you drinking for this? Yeah, one? no, yep, yeah, no, right. come on, let's go. All right, let's go. Ooh. Mm. Gonna flash a genius of that one. <laughs> 20. Can I flash a genius at Constitution State? Yeah. Okay. Well, since you said I can. I didn't get any drunker than the drunk I already am. That is a uh, 18. Uh, she downs it, belches, and like a bit of fire comes out of her mouth. Ooh. She's like, Ooh, again, 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 again. I'll, I'll know we'll look around to see. Nobody seems to notice. OK. Em, you need to be careful about that, that fire you're breathing. But it was just—it was a drink. I don't breathe fire when I'm belched, though. Karshana belches. See, no fire. Huh. Well, again, 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 again. again. Right, but if it gets—if it gets worse, all right. Okay. Okay. We'll order one more. Nineteen. Twenty. Okay. Uh, she downs it again. She doesn't belch this time. Her eyes dilate for a few moments, and you can see, like, when you talk and speak with her, it's always human, but they turn draconic. Oh. And she's like, oh. Oh. I don't burn something. I unprepped Lesser Restoration. I, pre I, I cast Lesser Restoration on her. <laughs> I realize I want to teach our kid consequences, but I'm not about to have her turn into a fucking dragon because we let her get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, boy. Okay. And she's like, what just happened? Uh, I think you were about to um, let loose. Uh, what, what does that mean? You said, uh, I want to burn something. Oh. There's such a thing as drinking too much. That's what you just did. Huh. What? How will I know? You don't always have to drink until you get to that point. Well, it felt fine. Did it though? Yes. Well, the thing about alcohol is that uh, it can cloud your judgment. And what might seem fine to you, you know, you wake up the next day and the whole town is in, in ashes. Hmm. 
Because of what somebody else did. Because of what you did while you were drunk. Do people normally burn towns when they're drunk? Depends on the person. I certainly have the magical capability to do so. Have you done um, so before? No. Well, then they let it get that far. I stop. What's the difference? I've hurt people when I was drunk. I hurt myself when I was drunk. Then why do you drink? I don't get that drunk. There is a place between not drinking at all and drinking so much that you don't know what you're doing anymore. That can be pleasant if you know how to control yourself. Well, I know how to control myself. You didn't just now, not until I cast magic on you. All the worst things I ever did, I did when I was that drunk. And I wish I could take them back, but I can't. I don't know what happened. I don't know what where that point is. That's because you're not old enough. That's what we were telling you. Well, how will I learn? Well, take it easier. Older, it's a little easier to tell. I mean, here's the thing. Um, this is why I say until then, you don't drink without permission from me and mama. And, you know, other times we'll drink and maybe I, we won't drink as much as we did today. And you'll start to learn, you'll start to pick it up. If people can lose control from drinking, why did they allow it? That's a tough question. Well, I think it comes down to um, trusting that somebody is responsible enough to know when to stop. It's kind of like, why do people allow magic to be cast when magic can be used for to do so much harm. You trust that the person who has control of that magic knows when and where to use it and not harm innocent people. Does that make sense? It's kind of like that. I think so. Can I have my gold now? So just go back to drinking that. Parenting! It's a good thing Cora had those rough 40 years in the Feywild, man. Yeah, it's a good thing no, it wasn't like the worst things I ever did, I did while I was sober. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that whole shebang happens. Uh, evening turns into nighttime. What's everybody doing? Noah's going to set up in the corner where he has the widest field of vision of the room. And then he's going to go into sentry mode. Okay. Is Lowell back, I assume? Yeah. You and me and Lowell are sharing a room, Lowell? Mm, guess so. Apparently, Em's on her own. on the floor. No, Em. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Talking about. You said me, Lowell, Noah. I didn't hear him and there. It, and okay, him. I'm sorry. If me and Noah are in the same place, where else would him be? <laughs> uh, with Nim, apparently. Don't let him answer that's, that question, Bex. Don't, don't let him answer that question. <laughs> don't give him that as a rhetorical don't, question. <laughs> don't bring that evil upon us. <laughs> <laughs> don't put the ball in his court. The question she would be asking afterwards. Oh, Oh. oh, we already had that conversation. 
Im Hardy walked in on Cora Shauna sleeping with the ride. Like this has already happened. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> wasn't uh, Jared? I'm not even gonna get it. I tried expl- I started explaining it to her, and she was like, "Never mind. I don't want to know." Oh man. I'll sleep on the floor. Lowell should take the bed. can have the bed i'm already asleep on the floor are you, you can have pretty... the... mm. <laughs> are you are you a quick sleeper in in the fantasy yes, it's a fantasy yeah. world come on now because you're not a... <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it's like a... and then on the flip side no i was like i'll take us a... i'll sleep on the floor and of course i was like nope I'm already asleep. <laughs> she literally is saying, too bad, I'm already yep. asleep. It's like, are you asleep, Corshana? Yes, I am. Yep. <laughs> She's drunk. Let's go with that. That's the, that's what's happening. Absolutely. Oh, man. That is funny. Yeah. Sigh, and then he'll get into the bed. <sighs> See, no fires yeah. now. <laughs> Tim's doing and, better. And I think he'll probably cry himself to sleep. That's why I get to bed. Poor Noah's just sitting there watching, like I know, wishing he could like, do something. Oh <laughs> My heart. I hope the shoes are I mean, they already worked. Yeah. They they helped us get get that portal are they, closed. But are they comfortable? He's gonna ask. Well, wing, the wing boots were totally worth it in the end. Yes, I have to make them actual ones now. So it doesn't take an infusion anymore. Yeah, so I can make other stuff like a, so you can have wing boots, and then I can make him like a periaptic wound closer. <laughs> well, he's he's maxed out on uh, attunement slots now. Yeah, I have two attunement items just sitting in my inventory that I can't attune to. Damn. Yeah. But I'll trade in several things for a robe of ice. <laughs> You're going to have to bring him a lot of eyes, and then he can wow. put them onto the roof. <laughs> oh, wow. Sure, I'll start collecting them oh, from all the monsters we kill. How many dretch eyes did I get? <laughs> you know, the funny part about that is in my game, we actually ran into an NPC who had a robe of eyes made of literal eyes. Oh. <laughs> That'd be a little creepy, huh? Oh, yeah. That, that, was, that was the point. <laughs> I, was I like, just want a 29 a passive screen. perception, man. That's all I'm, that's all I'm after. It's not a big deal. Anyway, I'll be able so to see every time Nim turns invisible. You're all asleep. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cora Issa kind of starts her thing, Nim. Mm-hmm. But before anything happens, she kind of she stops and kind of turns to the side. And Im comes into the room. And she looks at you, Nim, specifically, and she says, Uncle Nim, am I a bad person? Uh, no, why are you asking that? I feel like Mom and Papa are afraid. I think they're afraid of me. They're not afraid of you, but I think they're afraid of some of the possibilities of what you might become if you make certain choices. Can you 
tell what those are? Can you help me stop that from happening? Making those choices? Yeah. I can try to. Can't you see the future? Yeah, but if you think about this is going to be really, really difficult to explain. Um, I, mean, I think he's going to look at Corisa. I'm trying to see how to explain this because basically the idea is that like every pretty much every choice kind of branches into more like things that could happen because you made that choice and then more things that could happen because you made that those choices and, like so he's thinking like every possibility is just like infinite other things so it's like sure you can see the future but like that's like one possibility out of like a bunch of other things so it's like okay i'm trying to think of something you could do Cora Issa smiles back at you and she's like i think this is something you have to answer, man. Is there something you want to see? Is there is there something in your future you want to know what would happen? Do I lose control? Do I hurt my papa? Is that something he can show her? If he, like, uh, I feel like the answer is yes. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like there's always a possibility where the answer is yes. Um, I mean, have Nim just think about it. Like, what are the what could happen? Somebody something could. Something hurts Noah. Someone or something hurts Noah. Yeah, somebody hurts Noah. She loses control, and then lays waste to everything including noah without realizing it mm -hmm. or somebody pretends to be noah and hurts her and she lashes back out at him or like basically the possibilities are endless but i think nim would focus on things that have been done to hurt him specifically uh -huh. So like pretending to be Noah or um, having Noah accidentally do something to her. Yeah. My thought is if, if he's going to like show her a thing, it's if she wants to see, if, does she want to see like a future thing where this happens? Is that That's what she was asking? That's up to you to de decipher. Okay. It's possible. Anything is possible. These kind of choices are something you have to make or not make. Can you show me so that I don't make the wrong decisions? I can show you a future but it's not the only way things can go and show me okay um Sure. I, he hasn't had as much experience in the future thing, but if he can... Focus I mean, on something that you think would happen. Nim would think would happen. Probably imagining that the Noah V1's gonna attack Noah, because that's a pretty likely thing in the future. <laughs> 
something's gonna attack Noah at some point. He thinks that's most likely what's gonna happen. I don't know. Noah's any if anything attacks Noah and like hurts him pretty badly or kills him again, like that would probably do it. You teleport into a future, a very bleak wasteland. Uh, the sky is dark. The It is lightning all over the place, but it's red lightning. Noah version one and Noah are fighting. M and the rest of the party are just strewn about the battlefield in various states of uh, consciousness their own consciousness noah version one is on top of his version of m which is fully robotic at this point and noah understands how futile it is but still stands to fight against him m wakes up in time to see uh, the robotic M just kind of like have him pinned to the ground and slowly squeezing the life out of him and she screams in anguish turns into an ancient and then just meteor swarms the entire place until there's nothing left but just her Yeah, I think Nim would take them back at that point if he has the ability to do so. Yeah. Yeah. She just kind of falls to her knees. How do I stop them? If you focus on every possible future like that, you're just going to drive yourself crazy. It's, it's just, it's about the choices you make. It's about who you are as a person. You just have to be as good of a person as you can be and make the right choices now, here. Nim, I almost lost control today in the tavern and I didn't know about it. How am I going to stop that? You just have to do better the next time. That's all. What did there isn't another time. What if there isn't a next? Uncle Nim, I want you to promise me something. Yeah. If I do lose control, can you go back to the time it didn't happen? And don't tell mom and papa I asked you this. Sure, I can do that. Thank you. She walks out again.
Uh, after she leaves, Corey Issa kind of motions you to join her back in bed. She's like, oh, I'm racking up those promises, huh, honey? Yeah, I can like babe more and more every day. I, what else was I supposed to say to her? I, I couldn't let something like that stay if it happened. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't use the power you have, it's just wasted. So travel through time? Any of it. Well, we do have all night every night, and it would put us farther away from everyone. That's true. So then, where do you want to go? Oh, I actually do have some thoughts, but the question is how dangerous one of them is. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here just because I don't want to lose my brain still a bit fuzzy. Because I don't want to put you in a good spot and then just not be able to figure out what to do with it. That's all good. If you want to save the time travel stuff for later, like, I can put that off for, like, a different in-game night. It's up to you. Well, you're all going to be going somewhere, too, so. Mm. It's not like you're staying in Charles. I mean, unless you are. Do you want us, Wait, do you want us to decide what we're doing next so you can, I don't know, prep for it? No, I'm surprised. Really fine. I just had a rough, I had a rough night. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah that's sorry. Water. So. It's okay. Yeah, get some rest, man. Yeah, get some sleep. Seriously. Uh, Three day weekend. If it was what I think it is, I don't have a choice in the matter. So. Hopefully it was a fluke. 